snow. Hello, everybody! Welcome to Sonic Dream Team! Back again! I know I streamed this a while back, basically when it came out, but uh, I was just looking for something to stream this weekend, and I haven't played this in a while. I wanted to play more of it, so that's what we're going to be doing today. So I'm here today with my friend Channel Pup. He's over there. He's not usually this quiet. Did you mute yourself right as we started? Is this a bit? No, I'm just not talking. <laughs> <All right. laughs> I was like, wow. Hey, dude. Was... It's the longest I've heard you go without talking. I just, hey, I just wanted there to be, um, you know, a little awkwardness. Oh, shit. I forgot to put your name next to your little guy. Oh, well, well, I mean, they know who I am. Whatever. They know who you are. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, channel pop. Here today, we're going to play Sonic Dream Team. I know there's been some updates to it since it released. There have been some extras added to, like, boss fights, some updates to that kind of thing. I haven't seen any of that yet, so we're going to be checking that out live today. Uh, I'm not going to be playing, like, directly from the intro, because the intro is really just, like, the first cutscene and then the tutorial, and uh, I don't want to play the tutorial again. So we're going to be starting at level 1. To be fair, I do kind of like that. the tutorial. I have at yeah. one stage replayed the tutorial just for fun. I, as far I as tutorials in a Sonic game go, like, it's quite fun. It's fun, but I don't like the idea of, like... You know in some tutorials in games where they're like, you are literally not allowed to jump until we say you're able to jump? Like, oh, yeah, I, it does do that, doesn't it? It doesn't let you jump, it doesn't let you boost. Like, you need to play the... And I know it's a tutorial for a reason, but you need to play it at the rate that they want you to. <laughs> Which, I wish I we know. could just play that level again, and I also wish we could have, like, a little toggle switch that allows us to put the keys back so that we can, like, do the keys oh, to unlock yeah. the door thing. That's true. The, a lot of these levels have stuff like that where you have to collect keys or whatever, and then after you go back into the level or do a future level, they're just unlocked, and it's, like... I, I guess it's fine. Like, it's good for, like, the speedy nature of some of these things. If but... you could just toggle it, though, that would be, like, A toggle awesome. would be good, yeah. I mean, you can reset your data, but then you're resetting your entire save data, so... So I think this is, in a lot of ways, the best, like, of the straightforward linear boost games. Oh, absolutely. I, I was actually... The, the title of this stream was almost uh, the best boost game. <laughs> but I in today's episode, though, of I hate the new boost gauges. Ugh. Put it back in the left corner of the screen. I hate it being in the center. This one... I, got... I feel like this one's very, like bland as well like at least the frontiers one was like sort of cool i mean it is just zelda's stamina gauge i guess the, the frontiers one when i first saw footage of it i thought someone had something loading in windows because it looks like that little loading wheel <laughs> that you get in like windows 10 onwards little... i was I mean, like has someone thought... left their cursor on the screen and have they my... got something going on my first thought was just the zelda stamina wheel because that's basically what it is but like it's i, I yeah. totally get that the, uh, this one's okay. The, it's just like, it feels like Zelda this was like a... This almost could have been like a placeholder asset or something. Yeah. It's just... I do not like them constantly putting it next to Sonic. And they're doing it in Toys Party as well. That has a boost, and the boost gauge is once again a little ring next to Sonic. Really? It's just... It's kind of an immersion breaker. I mean, I'm surprised they didn't have... They didn't have uh, Ian Flynn explain that one too. It's like, what's this little ring next to me? <laughs> Hey, so when I'm running really fast, sometimes I, uh, I have to stop and collect some rings before I can run really fast again. What's that about? Wait, is this a fresh save? Because you just did the key thing. Yeah, it's a fresh save. Ah, how come you skip the tutorial? Like, can you do that? There is an option in the menu now to skip the tutorial. Ah. Which I, think it's... I can't I'm so tell you if that was always there. I don't think it was. I'm so mixed on being able to, like, homing attack onto rails. Because on one hand, it saved my Tukus a few times, but it's also saved my Tukus in times when I probably should have just died, in all fairness. It does really help you survive a lot of stuff, but I feel like that's part of the the fact of it being a mobile game. You know, I feel like if yeah. I was playing with touch controls, I would really appreciate that more. Yeah, also, definitely. hello, everybody. Sorry. Uh, Fez, hey, how's it going, man? Long time no see. 
let's see. Hi, I'm, chat. This is ironically sets a better foundation for Sonic than Sonic Frontiers. I actually, I think in the description of this stream, I said something like, these are better levels than the cyberspace things in Frontiers. And I, oh, I don't definitely. think that's negotiable. I think it's just true. This is, like... If they said, you know, next frontier -y game, we're going to have Hardlight do the cyberspace element, I'd be like, okay, yes. It's what they should But no, they're, they're cutting I 240 mean, jobs instead. Yeah, unless they all get laid off and they can't do it. Which, again, very stupid that they're, you know, sacrificing Hardlight when they've made nothing but good products for them. Literally, I think, like, Sonic Dash and Sonic Forces Mobile are, like, two of the most financially lucrative Sonic games ever made. Dude, they changed Sonic Forces Mobile into that title. They gave it that title. Like, taking it away from the real Sonic Forces, because I think Sonic Forces Speed Battle was a bigger success than Sonic Forces. They wanted that to be the one people think of when they think Sonic Forces. I, one is a really, really them. good mobile game. The other is a thoroughly, aggressively mediocre console game. Like, it's embarrassing you're gonna go for the one that stands out. Yeah, and I mean... Let's not forget, Sonic Dash has been around for a fucking long-ass time. Like, that game's still, still getting updates it. and content. It, it's, you know, they actually just re-released it on that Netflix Games thing. Uh, I know, that's how Prime I play Dash. it. I play Sonic Prime Dash instead of Sonic Dash, because you, you don't lose anything from the regular Sonic Dash. It's all in there. The difference is you get New York City as one of the maps that you can play through. And there's no microtransactions, like nothing financial about it. Like because it's all paid for by the Netflix subscription stuff. Like yeah, the thing just, just feeds you red rings. Well done. Can you get silver though? Like are all the characters still in it? Because like, when I was looking, yeah, at I've, the, got, uh... I've unlocked silver. Like they right now they've got an unlock supersonic thing going on. Um, oh, last okay. week it was super shadow. The week before that, super silver. Okay. Because when I was looking in the characters section, there, like, I couldn't see a whole lot of them. I wasn't sure why, but... Dude, R.E.M.'s voice is hot. <laughs> well, I mean, she's supposed to be very dreamy, as they say. The voice is damn dreamy. Like, she should voice Rouge. <laughs> okay, uh, I have to say something about Apple Arcade. When I was setting this up, not to take away from your point, I agree. But, uh, yeah, when I was setting this up today... I had an extraordinarily difficult time setting up my controller and the Apple TV itself. For some reason, even though I played the entire game with my PS4 controller previously, uh, Bluetooth mode, it did not connect again. It will no longer connect to the Apple TV no matter what I do. The, the controller is charged, there's no problem with the controller, it works fine on my PC and everything else. So I had to connect my Switch controller, and now, when I am playing the game, Sometimes buttons don't work. Like, this is not the worst thing that could happen, but I cannot access the pause menu at all. And I don't know why. Weird. Like, it will not I let me use, do it. Um, you can't remap it. So I don't know what the deal I is. I use an Xbox controller, and I've found that's been very reliable. The Xbox one. I don't have a wireless Xbox controller anymore. But, like, Damn. It, it's just. This is not a video game platform. This fucking thing. This is a glorified, like,. What are those things called? Like the. It's a fire stick. It's like a glorified fire stick, basically. This shit does not need video games. They should be funding games. The Apple should just have a game division and they should publish it on their shitty, like, phone and then put it out to other things as well. Like, even Sony is doing that now. They the other thing is, Apple that, Arcade. Like... Sorry, they like, recognize from... that, like. The PlayStation games are good and people buy PlayStation, but they'll make more money if they put them on Steam as well. I don't know why people are still so insistent that, like, no, you gotta play on our thing. It's really important. Well, Apple Arcade also is just a crap service. There is not yeah, nearly sucks. enough to justify. Like, it costs the same as a Game Pass thing. And on Game Pass, you get actual, like, triple A console releases and you get hundreds and hundreds of them. Whereas on Apple Arcade, it's just like 10 mobile games minus the microtransactions. Yeah, th there's like, hold on, I'll show you my, my home screen real quick. Actually, I don't know if I should because it might play copyrighted content at the top of the screen. But like on my home screen, I have like four games downloaded from Apple Arcade and two of them are good. <laughs> I've played two good games on Apple Arcade and everything else is kind I mean, of like, really in boring. In terms of exclusives as well, they've got like what? Sonic Dream Team, Hello Kitty Island Adventure, and that's about it, right? Ooh, like, Wow. 
heavy hitters. It's like, sure, I could play Disney Dreamlight Valley, the mobile version, or I could play that game on Game Pass and play the console version. Like, yeah, I, I downloaded that because I was curious. And, you know, since I already had the Apple Arcade thing, I was like, OK, it's it's not free, but it's only eight dollars, you know, so I'll try this. Uh, it was not good. Like, it did not feel good to play whatsoever, and I am still sort of interested in the console one, because I do like Disney stuff a lot, and, like, you know, cozy games, but I, I the don't other know, thing not leave good like, Sonic Dream Team, like, is the main reason I bought an Apple TV and the main reason why I was getting Apple Arcade. It's worth yeah. a bit, I'd, I'd say Sonic Dream Team is worth about 25 bucks in terms of, like, the content that's there. Like, I, I love I everything in it, but it's a small game. Uh, like, I have, I have played I... Rayman Mini. Rayman is the other game on here that I was referring to that actually is kind of fun. But that's basically all Is Rayman all Mini is. not like, it's Rayman, but you only do the jumping, basically. It's like an auto-running like kind of thing. Rayman fans need to take what they can get, unfortunately. No, I know, I know. So... I'm just asking. If, yeah, no, no, that's, that's what it is. That's because... what I'm saying. Like, it's unfortunate that that's like the best Rayman game that's been released in a long time. Because uh, the last one that got released was, I think, on the Wii U. And uh, then they just keep re-releasing that on Steam and stuff. Oh, no, the last last Rayman game is uh, the Phantom Show. Oh yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. No, that's true. AKA that the reason cool. why I bought Mario Rabbids thingy. Aside from the fact that I played it at my buddy Dustin's and uh, loved it, so like that also helps matters. The Mario Rabbids game, the second one, I, I think is pretty damn cool. I like it a lot. I haven't I... played the first one because I thought it looked kind of lame, but like, I got a little hands-on time with the second one and decided, you know what, I want this. I think the second one plays better. I, I don't know, I, I kind of enjoy the second one a little bit more, but I think the first one does have its merits as well. Isn't it that, like, the first one doesn't have an overworld, though, like the second one? Um... No, I mean, the, it's more level-based, rather. Like, like you kind of travel through areas that feel more like levels, but they they flow into each other, so it feels like just one big kind of thing. Interesting, because I noticed that, like, yeah, in uh, in the second one, like, I was surprised to see, oh, you can actually, like, walk around these areas and and collect coins and stuff. Also, man, like, God, the, why, the, like, the, the cutscenes are all, they're, they're all pictures, yet they have more movement in them than the Frontiers ones. They also have very much more expression. Also, I, I agree, Goomba. I, I do feel that... It uh, of movement. It does. Like, I think it's the backgrounds do a this. lot of work, too. Like, the movement of the backgrounds. I would take this over the they-just-stand-there-and-move-their-heads-slightly style cutscene. Yeah, where they also, go... Also, like, a lot of people clown on that one Chaos Island cutscene. You know, the one where they go kind of storybook style. A lot of people clown on that and say, like, did the budget run out here? I'm like, what do you mean? That's the best-looking cutscene in the game. Probably because they were able to do more with less, like this is. But uh, I agree, Goomba, I agree with you that the first one does feel more like it's... It, it feels like a... Like, like, I don't know, Mario Rabbids 2 does feel like it's a different series, almost, from the first one. But uh, I, I kind of like how unique it is. It feels very, like... I don't know. It feels cool. It's a very neat little game. And, and I really like all the, the new mechanics and shit. And you can play as Bowser, so... If, Fucking, uh, I'm in. I didn't know that. I haven't actually got that far into it, I don't think. I mean, I haven't finished it. I'm on the snow place. There's the snow stuff. And I'm quite deep into the snow place, too. I think that's where Bowser shows up. I think. I didn't not, even not know who was it. I know that, yeah. um, isn't like Rosalina, like the main villain? I had a suspicion that that's what it was. The main villain's called Cursa, and. They keep mentioning Rosalina, and you can play as Rabbit Wait, Rosalina, have you played and I'm it all like, way no, I haven't. Oh, okay, so I haven't beaten it either. Yeah, okay, no, I, I probably should say more. I feel like Cursa then, is spoiling. Rosalina, though. I, I, I kind of just got those vibes because it's like, who else? What other kind of like space cosmic goddess entity is there? If it is Rosalina, that's such a shame because she's like, as far as the Mario universe goes, she's my wife. You know, like. We gotta My Nintendo here. wife, I guess. Like, Oops. like Rouge is definitely my like. Uh, Your Nintendo my, uh, wife, yeah. Rouge is my Sega wife. 
And I think it's, it's like, like a new form of polyamory where depending on what company created the character, <laughs> you can have a. Nah, I just one. keep them all secret from each other. It's fine. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Cool. Nah, no, no. It's just, there, there's other me's in other dimensions, and they're the ones that are doing this. Oh my god. Um, Pup just sorry. Someone just said Pup has waifus confirmed. Have you listened to Pup speak about anything before? I mean, if you <laughs> listen to me on my own channel, I'm pretty unsuspecting. Like, that's fair. It is odd how inauthentic I actually am when you think about it. <laughs> it's funny though, a lot of YouTubers I find they're like... I mean, I, okay, this is the same thing as like, I'm sure actors are far different people than when they're on s screen, right? But like, I guess everyone, sometimes there's like a big disconnect between how people are in a video and how people are in a stream or like just hanging out with friends. Because it's like, okay, one of these things is my job and this, this other thing is me just kind of having fun. Uh, yeah, I tend to think, like, I I don't want my YouTube videos, like, comedy. Because for one, I find, unless I have someone to bounce off of, it never comes naturally to me. So it would be like, I write a script, and I'm then like, oh, now I need to write the jokes in. It's like, why am I doing that? Who's yeah. who's here for that? You know, I've you know? seen, from what I've seen from you, like, you're, you have a lot of, like, information-based stuff, and you, you, you talk a lot about the more intricate stuff when it comes to the things you're talking about and reviewing, which is cool. Like, I, I like that in a lot of regards, because, like, you know, sometimes when I write a video, it's like I... Sometimes I, I write videos around one joke. Like, I come up with one joke, and I'm like, oh, shit, I gotta make a video out of this now. Because, like, I, I can't <laughs> waste this. It's too funny. And, like... Like, what was it that... There was one video I made that I was like, I hate almost this entire video, but there's one good bit in it that I really like. That's the only reason I finished the video. Um, My, um... Sorry, I think it's the Sonic Chronicles video. After, like, I didn't like a lot of that video, because it was, like, a very, like, explainy and very bitter, because I just don't like the game very much. But the part where I was talking about the, the gizoids on... in the Twilight Cage that are called, like, a Cherub... Trivities and Fra and I think I just called him Franklin. <laughs> I, didn't know. I forgot his name and I was like, "That's so fucking funny to me." <laughs> I don't think I actually seen that one. I I don't remember. Just, it is. I did it because like I, I was doing all of the mobile Sonic games, you know, and I was like, "I can't just yeah. not do this one." I think that was like the last one I really focused on before I started doing other stuff. Sonic and the Chronicles. Yeah. It, I wish that game was good. I so wish it was better. I mean, yeah, Sonic RPG is something that has potential. I mean, again, look at the Mario Rabbids game. But, like... <laughs> oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> I missed one. Uh-oh. My roommate, uh, Dom, said in the past, like, have you ever considered, like, trying a stand-up kind of kind of thing at like uh, an open mic night or something and i said oh heavens to betsy no like i uh, certainly not the, the reason being i'd have to prepare a routine mm. and i i if i'm put in the context of okay try and say something that will make people laugh now i can't do it yeah. if you tell me like now is the time to try and make someone laugh no it has to be intrusive like yeah <laughs> it has to be when you don't want it you know like that I, is... yeah no it, like in a conversation right like if we're just chatting like this i feel like i'm very much more likely to come up with something that might make someone laugh rather than when someone goes oh you do youtube and stuff like you make jokes and stuff like what like what kind of jokes do you make you know i'd be like Tell a joke now funny man uh do you a know, funny like, I, 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 i'm not make funny, me I'm xd sorry. you know <laughs> it, it's I don't know, it's the same reason, like, you know, like, every time we test audio or someone tests audio, yeah, you go, okay, can you talk and you say something? And then, like, you, you never know what to say, go, what do I, what, what do I say? You yeah, know? like, you can never just start off with something. <laughs> it's just, I, I don't know, it, it's, I feel like a lot of people feel that way, too, and, and it's fine. Like, uh, it's, again, it's that difference between, like, like we write scripts, you know? Like, that's how it is. Like, we write a script for a lot of this stuff, and it's how it works. I that's used why on stream, to. I'm definitely a lot, like, looser with this stuff. I used to be completely unscripted. Um, yeah. 
Now it's it's notes. I, I take notes rather than doing a script, just so it can sound kind of a bit more natural to me. Because um, one of those things where I try to do things in a very quick turnaround, because again, if I don't upload for a few days, I will lose my entire platform as far as YouTube is concerned. This is the security YouTube is so fucked. Of. We may only Just I wish I were one of those guys that could... Through here. Asking you to do VA is... Do an impression of a character. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, can you do an impression of this character you've never voiced before? That'd be awesome. It also just, it makes you nervous, doesn't it, you know? Like... Yeah, it's kind of like... Uh, hello, Daisy! Uh, it's sort of like, uh... It's pressure. It's like pressure you're not ready for. This is why I like cats, dude. They just, they like... They're so stupid. Like... <laughs> kills up, yeah. Oh, shit. Amy's choosing to play as... Choosing to play as the girl now, are we? Well, I played as Sonic the first time I did this, so I wanted to see what she said. Ah, gross! Get out of my way! What is so <laughs> gross about him? He's an inflatable crab. Yeah, that's kind of rude. Like, why did they? Why did she put her hammer away? <laughs> she's ready to like kill. Or she's him. gonna deal with him with a fist, obviously. <laughs> All right, that's actually kind of badass. Now nah, she's gonna deal with him with her tarot cards. Alright guys, hands up. Which weapon would you rather use in a confrontation? Would you rather use tarot cards or a giant fucking hammer? I mean, to be fair, the tarot cards are um, magic, where the hammer is not. Yes, but do you think that that's a, like, a thing with cyberspace, or do you think that's a real thing that happens? Like, do you I think, think it's a real that? thing. I think she can do that. Because that's an interesting power that she just has. I did find it just so strange, though, that, like, this is her first time in a completely combat-centric game, and she does almost nothing with the hammer, like... Yeah. However, I must say, I don't mind the tarot card thing, because, to be fair, it's a much more unique thing than... Oh, you get it in the butt now. Okay, interesting. Was this is new. This is all new stuff now. No, yeah, so the bosses used to have been die, updated. Like... I think he, he definitely has more hit points. Yeah, he used to die after four hits, and he would have shrunk by now. That's cool, though, because he's got, like, a little inflatable nozzle on his butt. This, this so, is like, actually harder. Like, he's moving around a lot more than I remember him doing. I just uh, wish the music fit the boss, though. Like, the music is just... It's very tepid. Yeah, yeah, it's a little stale. Oh, yeah, you, I know what Absolutely you mean. I think no before it was like... Didn't you hit him twice in the claws, and then once in the ass, and then he deflated then it shrank and then you hit him again yeah so they've definitely bumped him up a little bit um but yeah that's the thing is like i feel like sonic boss music needs to go kind of hard especially like there's that critter that you fight in the in the maze area and he does a little clicking sound effect which is literally the switch sound effect um and i was like that thing looks like an eldritch horror i need to be hearing some frontiers kind of rock music here but it's just ugh. I feel like there's room for both, because the crab, I don't think, needs to have, like, crazy bumping music, because it's, like, inherently funny. But, like... Nah, give I, it, I think, give like, it, ridi go ridiculous with it, go hard. Crazy hard. <laughs> yeah, just go insanely hard. Also, they've... In this game, they've definitely shrunk Amy's hoop skirt, haven't they? Like, it's nowhere near as wide as it usually is, and it looks floppier. Which is good, because that's how it should be. model? Maybe? Like, a new model? Revised model? I mean, these are definitely revised rigs, which makes me wonder if we'll get something more like this in the next game, which I really hope so, because, like, the character animations, when they actually do stuff, are so much better in this game than any Sonic game since fucking, like, like, Boom. <laughs> Rise of Lyric. Okay, I will give it that. Boom did have very good, like, character animation. Rise of Lyric had really good animation. Like... I, mean, I don't mean the show. I think the show looked fine as well, but I think Sonic Boom Rise of... I know he said Rise of Lyric, so it's obvious, but Rise of Lyric had really decent cutscene animation, which is just about the only compliment I can give it. I also think the game looks pretty good. It's fine. I, I didn't really like the style of it. It looked very, like, um... I don't know. It looked like... Generic? Generic, yeah. I think parts of it look generic, like the forests look a bit generic, the factories are a little bit generic. But there's also that level where you're like in the sky and you go all these temples and stuff, and that looks really cool. That one, I did like that. That, that kind of reminded me of uh, Zelda Skyward Sword, there's a dungeon in the, in the sky that's sort of like that. Or actually, that's also... Twilight Princess, sorry. 
the the overworlds, the hub worlds, the little open thingies, they do look better than the ones in Frontiers. Even if they are actually more empty in terms of functionality, they do at least look better than the ones in Frontiers. Yeah. No, I, I definitely gotta give it that. I mean, like, the hub worlds in Boom actually feel like they have more life, but, I mean, we were talking about this Most. just yesterday in, in DMs. We were saying, like, the Starfall Islands are support that sort of supposed to look lonely, so it, I, I can't are, really fault the same it time, too much, you know? At, at the same time, you can still characterize something that's dead, you know, because, like, you see bits of dead architecture, like, you see their homes and stuff, but they're all just the same triangle. You don't see where, like, a garden might have been, or anything like that. The closest thing you have is those rock game things that they play, but you don't even find that out until someone mentions it, and they don't look like a game, you know? There's I still the whole like thing the idea like... that those were, uh, the, the, the theory that those were tombstones. I liked it too. you could just kind of run through them and knock them down. <laughs> you know? I liked that too. Um, but it, it's also like, there's things like, um, I don't know, I just, there needs to be more evidence that someone lived here once, even if it is long ago, and even if it is in ruin. Like, I'd like to see where their gardens were, where, where did they do their little shopping, what's like the plazas and stuff like that, like, and there's just none of that. You've only got military stuff, you know? Yeah, no, I agree. Like, they have the... There's a lot they could have done, I, I suspect that there was... I mean, like, we know what happened with development. They had to split one of the islands into three because they didn't have enough time. I, yeah, I think we, in a perfect also, world, maybe all of that stuff would have been present, you know? It's also safe to assume that the Starfall Islands themselves were pretty much thrown together and then any story context was added later, basically. Like, Yeah. And for what it is, I still really like it. I know we're definitely in agreement on that, but... Oh, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's still a, great for what great it is. Time. It's a great time. Like, the, the thing I ask more than anything else when it comes to the game is give me something fun, you know? I would rather have something that's fun and looks like garbage than something that isn't fun but looks tight as hell. In an ideal world, I mean, it shouldn't even be an ideal world. I should be able to get something that is, you know, yeah. looks like a $60 product and is fun. You know, that, that should be kind of the minimum, but it is yeah. what it is. Did they ever explain the weird text or logo in front of it? The Zap logo? Yeah. They just said it's like... It's actually... It's a, okay, uh, it's this is thing. something because it's very fresh on my mind. Uh, there's a video by Jebzone called The Cyber Corruption of Sonic Stories. We just had him on the Sunset City podcast yesterday. It was a very fun episode. And uh, if you watch that video by him, there's actually a moment where he talks about that Zap logo thing, which I didn't know about. I mean, I knew it from the trailer, but I didn't know it got explained. Apparently, Yeah, they've got that is, whole thing. It's like a weird... Like, it's a, like a... It represents a god that the ancients believed in, but they don't really explain it past that. They're so equivalent it's... to, like, the the crucifix, effectively. Um, but what's funny is that cutscene tells us more about Amy than it tells us about that logo. Because Amy goes on this spiel about, Huh, for such intelligent scientific creatures, it surprises me that they're religious. I'm like, <laughs> Amy's an atheist. Wow. Okay, that's... That's cool. I, I'm not religious either, but I'm also like, you you have fortune cards, Amy. What are you Amy talking about? Amy has met multiple gods. Like, <laughs> Amy, Dude, how can you like, be an atheist when you've it's like literally Brian met... like Griffin in Family Guy. <laughs> He's met Jesus like four times and he doesn't believe in God still. Look at uh, these character animations, man. They're so good. Penyosa, you watch Sunset City? I'm on Sunset City. <laughs> <laughs> you have to one-up them like that, man. That's I don't watch Sunset City, though. I don't watch it. I don't watch it. I am it. Uh, how is this like the last update? Why is it so bad? How is it like the last update? Are you talking about this game, or are you talking about uh, Frontiers? I think the story ending of Update 3 is much better. I liked the story ending of uh, Frontiers ending better. Of this, I mean, yeah, another story, if, yeah. If if for nothing other than the fact that, like, Eggman's team-up does something more than just giving him a purple emerald... Yeah, the one emerald. <laughs> the one e Honestly, honest to god, right? One of the things I put in my, like, Update 3 suggestions video before it came out was... Let us play as Eggman to get the purple Ooh. emerald, because they're always situated on top of the Titan heads. Let us play as Eggman in, like, a big arm style mech, wrestling the emerald off of Supreme's head. Alright, that would have been fucking cool as hell. Uh, also, I I think it's funny that in the original ending, he finds you the one emerald, right? 
Or, yeah. or sorry, in the in the revised ending, he finds either one emerald, but everyone else found two, and he still acts like he's hot shit for finding one emerald. That's so Eggman, though. That what is does like that make the most me? Eggman thing. <laughs> you know. But like the fact that he's the one that operates the gun is just awesome. Yeah, I'm glad that he does more than sit there and watch. Like I, I know the others are held uh, holding back the shield with uh, the sage, but Eggman like. But that's the thing I love. Everyone is pulling their weight now. there. You know. You've got Amy, Tails, and Knuckles coming to the aid of Sage, who is protecting Eggman. So, like, by sheer proximity alone, Eggman is being protected by Tails, Amy, and Knuckles, which is just awesome. Yeah, and no, then when Eggman is like, for the team up. and when Eggman is like, Sonic, my friend, who I always do this kind of stuff with, it's now or never. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> See, look how polite he's being towards him. Maurice, quickly, get over here. Sonly, my little pal, it's time to fly. Sonny. Sonny Jim, how are you doing? No, you're not going to tell. Oh, God, I almost didn't make that. <laughs> Let's see. Afterwards, so he's just like, you're going to be online on Xbox? For, for this game? I think Frontiers has Japanese voice actor. In this game, you must mean. I think you have to uh, nowadays set your console's region to get the voices. Ah. Yeah, I... I speak English, so I just use that usually. Also, I'm gonna say this. This level theme here is one of the best bits of level theming we've had for Sonic in decades. D this level and it's not even that great. hungry as fuck. Does that make sense to anyone? It looks like, like Fanta. It's like a bunch of soda and pizza flying around. I don't see the pizza. I see the soda. Just but like, it's like orange and gooey. Like pizza for the pure soda. virtue that this isn't a chemical plant or b an asset dump it ends up being the best stage design we've had since well, was... since generations <laughs> yeah it's been generations since we've seen good level concepts i mean i actually don't i, I don't mind the pool toys level either it's a little lost world for my tastes but i, I don't mind it I think it's a unique take on, like, the green type stage, you know? It's like, it's yeah, not quite yeah. Seaside Hill, it's not quite something we've had before, it's like, it's neat, it feels like it could be, it's very dreamy, you know? Like, oh my god, the world's covered in like, pool floaties, you know? The first time I saw it, I was like, oh no, plastic, Lost World, Mario, but then when I actually played it, I was like, oh, it's pool toys, that's so clever, and then the final yeah. boss of that thing is a pool toy, that's so clever! It's like, oh my god, the assets are actually congruent with the theming and exactly. story. That's what I was going to say. It's like hell? they actually took into account, like, hey, this whole world's theme, and then we themed everything around it, instead of just being like, here's so Green Hill Zone. this is the, the Windows XP backdrop with some railings in it. It's just, I, I know, I rag on it all the time, we all do, but like... And someone asked me about Sonic Toy Party earlier. That, that shit, I, I'll probably try it if I can play it on, like, if I could play it on Blue Stacks or something, if it works, I'll probably do it like that, so I can stream I think it. It's, I think it's but... going to be available on a lot more thingies than Dream Team. Oh, will it? I think so. I think it's coming to Android too. I don't think it's an Apple Arcade thing. Okay, yeah, well, in that case, I still got to use Blue Stacks, because I, if I want to stream it, I got to use that on my uh, computer to emulate it or whatever, but hopefully that doesn't get banned so what are you, from it. What are you using for this? Are you just using like a capture card and an Apple TV? Yeah, yeah, I'm capturing my Apple TV with my capture card and uh, having a grand old time. You gotta turn off copyright protection though, or else it doesn't capture. Interesting. For me, it's just, my little capture thingy is just like a little USB stick that you plug an HDMI into. Okay. Oh. It costs like 15 bucks. Yeah, no, I just plug HDMI cords into this thing. And then it, uh, I think this thing How was like 120 cost? bucks back when I got it. Well, that ain't 15 bucks. It's not 15 bucks, but I, I have not had, like, a... And I really don't want to jinx it, because I have two of these things, because they're so good. It's the Avermedia Live Gamer Extreme. It's, like, at least five years old at this point. I've been using it for a long-ass time. Very rarely has any frame drops. It has little to no input delay. Like, I'm not looking at another screen right now. I'm playing directly through OBS. And I don't think I will ever need to buy another capture card. I don't see the reason, because I... I'm never going to stream or record in 4K. I just don't feel like it fucking matters. Uh, but I actually love how much height you can get when jumping off of one of those platforms when they reach their apex. It's crazy. Like, they put real physics in this game. Dude, like, this uh, game is like if Nintendo made a Sonic game. <laughs> like, 
in a good way. I know people are about to say Sonic Lost World, but that's not what a Sonic game would be like if Nintendo made a Sonic game. If Nintendo made a no, Sonic yeah, game, that's it would pretend. be good. That's Pretendo. Um, pretendo I mean, to be yeah. fair, Lost World is a well-made game, more or less. Like, the difficulty balancing is pretty ass, but, like, it's a well-made game. It's, it's probably one of the most... Game, though. It's one of the most solidly put together modern Sonic games. It's like got the least glitches and bugs of any 3D Sonic game. And that's kind of sad, but it does kind of go to show that it's like you can have a game like Lost World, which is really tight, versus a game like Frontiers, which is disgusting to look at. But like Frontiers <laughs> is just a good time. But a good game, And Lost yeah. World is like, can, can, can you stop it, please? You know, like... Yeah, uh, the Chung, Chung Gamer, first of all, cool name. Uh, people on stream with me, I have never asked anyone, and I don't think I will ever ask anyone to show their face or turn on their camera, because typically I feel like people would not want to do that. I usually probably wouldn't want to do that on someone else's stream either, because it's just like, you know, I'm just hanging out, having a good time. And, uh, oh, so I almost is never... Easier. Just, I almost just never show my face anyways. Like, I've not made it, like, a secret, but, like, I just rarely do it because I'm not comfortable. You know, that's a good question, though. Uh, it's not like I'm... I ask people and they say no. It's just... Uh, I either just let it be a reactive image, like, I, you know, I keep pointing the wrong direction, or not. You know, Dylan, like, this time next week, works. I won't have a face. Really? Well, it's gonna come face. right off. It's gonna be brilliant. So... Oh. My like sister has, like, arranged a vacation. Um, so we're both going to this theme park in Barcelona for a few days. And okay. uh, it's, it's called Port Aventura, but they've got a little place called Ferrari Land. And it is home to the fastest roller coaster in Europe. And it starts with a catapult launch start, which takes you from 0 to 120 miles per hour in just two seconds. Oh. Oh my God. So when I come uh, back, my face will just be exposed muscle tissue. Huff <laughs> is gonna be, and he's I gonna be the skeleton wait. for real. I cannot wait. I'm so excited. Dude, the only thing I've ever been on like that is in, um, in Disney, they have the rock and roller coaster, which I think is zero yeah. to 60 in five seconds or something. Zero to 60 in four seconds, I believe. Cool. So, uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> it, it, uh, I went on that when I was a lot younger, and it was before I was afraid of roller coasters. And, uh... Oh, God. I just had to go on a lot of stuff like that. What the heck happened? I had to go on a lot of stuff like that when I was a kid, because my parents would be like, Oh, come on, it's fine. Just go on it. You'll be fine. And I just didn't like them. So, like, I, I just kind of learned to not enjoy that kind of thing. And when I went on the rock and roller coaster, that was literally the last straw. Like, I was like... The guy was like, Does anyone need to get off before we start the ride? And I was like... You know, sitting next to my dad, I was like, I, I, I think I changed my mind. I don't want to be on the ride. And then my dad was like, no, nah, he's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> and the guy <laughs> went, okay. And then I was just, like, screaming the whole time. I did not like it. I that also one called, goes um... for uh, the Tower of Terror is, like, I hate that stomach-dropping feeling. So that when was, I was like, a one kid, of the worst I used rides to hate Tower of Terror. And, like, As an adult, I enjoy it a lot. But when I was a kid, I hated it. I, just, um, I don't like the feeling of it, you know? So, like, when my parents no, were like, yeah, you got to come with us on it. And uh, at the last moment, again, the guy, the elevator operator, so to speak, goes, does anyone, would anybody have any questions? And I raised my hand and I went, can I please like, get off the ride? I don't want to be on the ride anymore. And he went, no, and shut the door on me. <laughs> It's, it's like, I guess, I don't know how much there you could really do once you're in the seat, you know? Like, they'd probably have to reset the safety guards or whatever, but... I think so. I mean, uh, question as well. Like, obviously, this isn't me saying, oh, you'll definitely enjoy them. But, like, question, do you... Did you, like, brace yourself when you were on these things? Like, tense your body up and brace yourself? Probably, yeah. Yeah, that's, like, rule number one. D don't yeah. do that. <laughs> that's something I learned, like... Even, like, so I, when I kind of started out and stuff, like, I was enjoying them, but I was still tensing up my body to kind of, like, anticipate, like, the drops and the speed-ups and the turns and stuff. You feel it ten times more when you tense yourself up than if you just lean into every, like, drop, turn, and thing. And yeah. it's, like, it's almost like going against nature in a way, but, like, 
yeah, that's kind of how I really started to love these things. But also, I'm going to say this, like, I've been on a ride in the UK called Stealth. Um, and that's, I think, 0-80 in, um, in 3 seconds. And I think you feel that less than you do 0-60. Because, like, it's just quicker. It's over quicker, you know? Like, I don't know. Uh, there was, oh, there was a roller coaster on that, like, Boba Jan Land, which is, like, in uh, Belgium, I think, uh, called Fury. And this ride, like, it starts off, the, the, the carriage goes onto this little turntable, and everyone gets to vote if it goes forward or backward. And it does that boost start thing that the rock and roller coaster does at, like, oh. slightly more speed. It does it four times, and two of which are backwards. It's crazy. I... I really do not... Oh, God, backwards. Oof. That would be a huge issue for me. I, I don't even like being on a train going backwards, to be honest. Like, some trains you can sit on, like... You know, you might be facing the wrong direction. That shit even makes me sick. Yeah, I think I'm just not yeah. cut out for that kind of stuff. I, I never have been. I think I... I think I want to work this into a video, though. I bought a little GoPro with me. I'll be like, what's it like to boost as Sonic the Hedgehog? This is the closest we're gonna get! Okay, you know what? Actually, I think I need to reset this level, but I can't because the pause button still doesn't work. <laughs> I didn't know What's where to the go. Matter? Did you I, goof? I went the wrong way. Uh, let's see. I might still have enough time. Let's see. I'll just have to go fast. How do you feel about the whole thing of, like, the Sonic characters just don't go fast unless you boost now? Uh, if it's level design like this and they give you the option to go fast when you want to and when it makes sense, I don't care. Because it, it feels sure. good. But if it's like, in a in a game like Frontiers, it feels weird that he doesn't go fast all the time. Like, you know, in, let's say, in um, in the overworld, I feel like he could just be going top speed most of the time. And it would make more sense because you're supposed to be covering a lot of ground. Especially you know, and... when the turning's as good as it is. I almost feel like it should be hold the trigger down to reduce the speed rather than hold the trigger down to the gain walk it. button. Yeah, yeah, like have like a brake button, in fact, like or, or a cap button that just caps your speed. Um, but it's, it's it's something we were discussing actually the other day in DMs was like, um, what's really the point in making the boost finite in a game like Frontiers, considering it almost never runs out, and it is your only resource for speed, anyways. It doesn't make sense to me that they do that. Like I, I honestly. And as cheap as it sounds, I, I just leave the infinite boost code on in the mod loader now, because if you can, like, draw the little figure eight and just have infinite boost anyway, then just give me infinite boost. Like, it seems like they just wanted me to have it, but they didn't include it for some reason. Or they did, I, but there's, like, an extra step. I think I said in one of my videos that was, like, a reaction to some of the gameplay footage. But with the Psy loop, I said there's potential. It should be, you do a little figure eight, which is like an infinite symbol. And infinite pops out of the ground, his theme starts playing, and you fight him. For like, extra points. <laughs> that should be like, like a 1 in 8 billion chance of happening. It's like a thing that people discover in like 50 years from now. Yeah, it just pops out of the ground, just like, round 2, blue buffoon. <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> infinite? I remember when I fought you in Sonic Forces. Hey, you got a red eye. Kind of reminds me of Mephilus. <laughs> I mean, who? I don't know who that is. I don't remember that person. Uh, let's see. Uh, someone said Sonic Dream Team is a boost game. I thought it was more like Adventure. Nope, it is a boost game, but it does have level design that sort of... It's, it's, it sort of like evokes some kind oh, of adventure -y vibes, I would say. I remember when people were seeing like the trailers for the first time, and, and I kind of was, was with them. Like, it would, the, the consensus was like, wow, this looks the most like an adventure game it's ever looked. And when you pick it up, it's like, nah, it's nothing like an adventure game, it, but, it's like... Really, it doesn't feel like it, but it's, like, it's designed in a way that feels like it flows sort of like it. Yeah, the levels yeah. are open, so it's more akin to Sonic Adventure 1, so they're not, like, fully open zone, but they're not as, like, narrow as they go on to be. Also, Ooh. I think I gotta take a wee-wee. Oh, no problem. Go on. Is it cool if I go and wee-wee? Yeah, of course. No, you have to stay here till the stream's over, sorry. Dylan, please let me go to the bathroom. You can go, it's alright, don't worry about it. You're, I uh, see you typing in the chat <laughs> saying that I can't, and that you're just trying to look courteous <laughs> for the audience. Dylan, I need the bathroom. 
I'm going to die. I told you to get a water bottle before you came here. Yeah, I have a water bottle, but it's full of water for me to drink. That's not what I... Okay. Just this once. Uh, just Hooray! Infinite had so much potential. I think the Phantom Ruby itself had ins... Bits? Holy shit, okay. <laughs> I always forget that I'm streaming on Twitch as well. Thank you, Polly, for the bits. Uh... What was I going to say? I feel like the Phantom Ruby itself, and I've said this before, had probably the most potential out of any Sonic story element they've ever created. Especially for an anniversary game. Because they established the Phantom Ruby can literally do anything. And in Mania, they use it to recreate a million different bosses from the past and a million different cool locations that people enjoyed. And then when you get the forces, they, they up the game and say, hey... This literally, they tell us how it works. It creates a virtual reality which you believe is real and everything that happens to you in it is real. And they don't fucking do anything with it. They don't do anything cool at all. <laughs> it's like, like they have the one level where Infinite has all those giant snake-like things and it doesn't like really last that long. It doesn't have that much impact on much. And they don't use it for, they like, use it for like the clone boss battles that aren't even really that good. Instead of, uh, I don't know. Something cool, something creative. Like, just throw some stuff together. Mix a bunch of shit. Like, have perfect chaos show up in fucking Green Hill. Even though it's all covered in sand. They'd be like, what the... But but it, it, it's a sand hill now. You can't be here. There's no water. You know, that shit. They just didn't bother. They did not care enough to try. And that's really a shame. Because they, they wasted that opportunity. And uh, I think it was very subpar. Very lame. And uh, honestly, honestly, the greatest idea Eggman has is to make a giant sun and drop it on people. Fucking remove the ground. Let them fall into the Earth's crust. Then they can't run, dipshit. Like, come on. Like, I can give you like six different scenarios that would have been more unique than that. So let's say, remove the Earth's crust. Replace the entire Earth with Jello, so they can't move. They get stuck, and it's all sticky and gross. Um, you could uh, drown them. You could make the air into water. And I know these are things that, like, obviously would not be good for gameplay. You know, but maybe the Jello thing. But think about it. Like, smartest man in the world. Yeah, I'm just gonna put the sun on them. Surely they can't stop this. They've been stopping me the entire fucking game, but surely they won't find a way to stop this. It's it's just come on, like we gotta we gotta be smarter about these things. Polly with the two dollars super chat as well. Remove their feet exactly. That removes a whole real world problem as well. People start being fucking weird about feet, and Sonic won't be able to run. There we go. We've solved like six birds with one stone. Sorry, that was weird. Thank you for the two dollars, Polly. I appreciate the super chat and the bits. <clears throat> Happy B theory. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Chip Fan. It's good to see you. Uh, using both the Chaos Emeralds and the Phantom Ruby to mess. Using the to mess with reality. That could have been something, too. The Chaos Emeralds just weren't in that game, right? At all? Like, I, I guess they show up when you. when you use Super Sonic, but that's like a paid DLC. <laughs> You want to see more gems with powers? Well, in the IDW comics, we had the Warp Topaz, which I thought was a cool step in the right direction. We have the Chaos Emeralds, of course. We have the Phantom Ruby. We have the Anarchy Bell in hey, pump it Archie up. Comics. Which was Scourge's the Phantom version of the Chaos <laughs> Booby. <laughs> Phantom Booby in the porn parody, of course, yeah. I wonder if they've done that yet. Like, no, they don't have a Phantom Ruby board parody. No, no. What I mean is, like, in like Sonic, like parody comics. I wonder if they've ever done the Phantom Booby. <laughs> the Phantom Booby. Okay, wait. Yeah, like... All right, Phantom Booby. It's just like you know the bird, the the blue footed booby. They just have a ghost. No, no, him. because because again, we're, we're factoring in like this is this is from the explicit comics that people make. Oh. Specifically, the ones that all share the same universe. Same you. They have a shared universe for parody 
explicit comments. Kind of, I'm just thinking like the Mobius Unleashed universe. <laughs> like, I wonder if they've ever done the Phantom movie. Pop, I think you, you might have a promising career in uh, <laughs> in parody comics if you put your mind to it. Oh, that's Rouge awesome. They were such the a big part of movie. my teen years, so yeah, let's do it. <laughs> you think they'll ever bring back the Chaos Rings? No, I don't think they even wanted to do that in the first place, to be honest. But I will tell you one thing. Uh, in the Sonic Generations rewrite thing I'm writing right now, I do... Oh, wait, do I... I do reference the Chaos Rings. I reference a lot of, like, weird shit like that in one scene because I thought it was funny. Uh, oh god, okay. You know what, I, I, could, I think I could spoil this because it's a very minor thing and it does not have a whole lot to do with the overall story. Kinda reminds but, me of the Chaos Rings. Yeah, originally I was going to include a level in the rewrite to take place in one of the storybook games, but then I realized I was writing, like, 15 chapters of this shit already and I'm... I, I, I was just like, I gotta cut corners somewhere, just like Sega themselves, learning from the best. And, uh, so the thing I've decided to cut, unfortunately, is the, the Sonic Secret Rings level that I was going to include in this story scenario. But what was gonna happen, what happens instead is, uh, there's going to be a warp ring opened, and Sonic is gonna recognize, I, I think I had it was gonna be Skeleton Dome, either that or Molten Mine or whatever it's called. And everyone's getting ready to go through when he goes... Hey, wait a minute. There's no Chaos Emeralds there. I've already been there. And they're like, "What do? You, how do you know that? And he goes, oh, because when I went there, there were just these really weird world rings. And then Eggman goes, you mean like the Chaos Rings? And then Sonic goes, no, these rings... Wait, what was it? Hold on, let me pull up the script. So it's like a... Doesn't even remember his own story. <clears throat> it's... Listen, I wrote this a bit ago. It, it, this is like a bit that I wrote down. It's not even like a finished part of the story yet. Dylan is okay, here it is. <clears throat> Alright, let me... Okay, so, in Generations Rewritten, I've replaced the storybook level, due to time constraints, with this scene. So oh, very Sega of you. I know. So, a warp ring opens to a, a secret rings level. Sonic declines. He says, there are no chaos emeralds there, just genies and weird rings. So then, I think Robotnik says, you mean chaos rings? And then Sonic goes, no, world rings. And then he goes, you mean like the warp rings? And he goes, no, they make you feel emotions like anger. And then Eggman turns to them and says, that's what this conversation is doing to me. That's cute. Or, or no, sorry, he says, this conversation must be a world ring too. <laughs> hey, I anyway. got a, I've got this little, uh, I got, I went to the toy shop today. Um, and I okay. got a little, uh, a little paint your own Sonic. I don't know if you have oh, that I don't in really the States. I don't, I don't think you have them in the States, I think it's a UK thing, but um, it's a little paint your own Sonic and you get a little, you get a little Sonic and you get some paints. I think I might paint him now. I'm going to send you pictures as I paint him. Okay. Alright, that seems like a good activity. Uh, I'll try and show him on stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on, let me, let me get a cup of water. A live painting. This would be pretty good. Uh, Brackstar, hello. Hope you're doing well. Uh, do we remember when Sonic had the promotion at Hooters? Yes. After Rouge was announced as an NPC. I don't remember it being specifically after Rouge was announced. And wasn't it only in Japan? I, I feel like it was not in America. I, I don't think they would have... Oh, shit, that was close. I don't think they would have been able to do that. All right, okay. F first picture I've coming only been way. to Hooters one time, and it was... It was just kind of all right. It wasn't really that good. I had the toast burger um, when I was in Florida, but the it was a takeaway. <laughs> I did not go to the Hooters. Right. Hang on. Hang on a second. First photo is coming your way. All right. First of the progress pics. Okay. Actually, to, to okay. add on to the Hooters thing I mentioned, I went to Hooters. Literally, I was on a family trip and my dad was like, let's go to Hooters. <laughs> so right, we went... here's your ex <laughs> Sorry, sorry <laughs> So stupid Go on It was just, like, I was with, like, I was with my dad, my stepmom, her two sons we We're all What are you doing, stepmom? We're all over 18 So it was just weird It was like family trip to Hooters I was like, this sucks, dad I, I don't like this <laughs> I hate that <laughs> Oh, let's see Uh Alright, so this is <laughs> I like that you have a the, the stream open in the background of me looking up. 
<laughs> Smiling. Alright, here it is. So yeah, this is a happy moment for you. Pup's project. I don't know what it's made of. I when I was looking at it, I thought maybe he's 3D printed because he's not particularly clean, but no, it looks like he's made of like a marbly kind of stuff. He's made of the but marble. Yeah, that's the him. Marble zone. That's it. Shut up. That's him unpainted as of right now. Hold on, I gotta... Why can I not move I'm now going to. Shoes? I'm now gonna go get a cup of water. I'll be right back. Yeah, go for it. Uh... Okay, there. It is. I don't know why I couldn't move that manually. This is Pup's unpainted Sonic currently. He comes with a little <clears throat> diorama background piece as well of Green Hill Zone. So that's so cute. we will we'll check in on that periodically as it is painted. We will make sure to complain about Green Hill Zone. Ah, <laughs> uh, I need a piece of paper. Ooh, or Pop's something. gonna turn Sonic into Spider Man. That's a, that's a cool idea, actually. That's a cool idea, but I just want to paint him normally. That's fine. Uh, Flesh like the Hedgehog. Problem. You're so right. Holy shit, it's been so long. Do you know about my, uh, my Sonic Forces character, Pup? No. Okay, uh, back in Sonic Forces, the first time I played, this is not the character I created, but after I was making, like, videos, and by the time I started to sort of dislike the game a lot, uh, I made another character that's, he's one solid color, he's one solid flesh color, and I used a mod to change it so you can have the hands and feet be the exact same color, and I call him Flesh the Hedgehog. Oh, hold on, I must That's have disgusting. I love it. No, he's great. Hold on. Let me see if I can find him. I'm just... I will be right back. Yeah, no, take you your time. You I, I might still have a picture of him somewhere. Let me... I'm gonna see. Actually, you know what? He's probably on the wiki. <laughs> he's on the Garrelous 64 fan wiki. This is the only place I can actually expect that he will be. Cause I, I don't know if I have him in the files. <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay, hold on. I'm, I'm gonna share this. Cause I. <laughs> hold on. Uh. I don't know why I saw this, and I was like, why is the purple Eminem <laughs> Carol 64 fan wiki? But it's not. <laughs> He's. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, uh, hold on. What the fuck? Why are there toilet seat ads here? Explore all pages. Flesh the Hedgehog. There he is. This is him. This is Flesh the Hedgehog, the Sonic Forces fan character. Now, fun fact, when I uploaded this, uh, I had to add the background because I think it was detecting the weird player model as like a, like a nudity thing. Oh, he's beautiful. That's him. He's beautiful, uh, yeah. Yeah. He's got me that's, acting up. That's about it. That's Flush the Hedgehog on the, the fan wiki that someone made a while back. <clears throat> he looks so smooth and silky. I don't know. I saw Brutus Koopa at the bottom of that as well. I don't know who that is, because that's on the Garrelous 64 fan wiki. I, that must be another fan character we made during a stream or something. I, All I right, I got a piece of paper. I've got... Butter. You say you have I wonder butter. which. I got water for the brush. Oh, um, water. Okay, that makes sense. I'm wondering what color I should start with. Uh, depends. You want to start with the color that he has the most of or the least? Well, yeah, that's the thing. Is like you kind of want to put like a base thing down, right? Like, you know what? Yeah, let's start with the blue. Let's start with the blue. Oh, I'm gonna get blue on. I'm gonna I was just blue thinking, arm. I was like, it'd be funny if you went the entire time without mentioning it, and then you showed it and he had blue arms. Because I you, like it with blue arms. He are you the close. only one who's excited for tour party? I hate that phrase, am I the only one? Because uh, you never are. But, uh, uh, yes, you are the only one excited for tour party. I mean, a lot of people ask on Twitter and stuff, am I the only one who likes Sonic Unleashed? I'm the one that says I am the only one who likes Sonic Unleashed. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna make it. Have I'm some gonna conviction, make it. guys. No more asking. <laughs> oh, that was close. He's got Novia Nova VR, there. hello. Is this actually a okay. thing? It might be fun, but you won't likely play it. Sonic Toy Party is a real thing. Yeah, I, I, I'm sort of interested in playing it. I, I just want to see how it plays. I, I, I don't know. Like, it, it doesn't look like it's gonna be something I play a lot of. But it's, uh, it. it 
has some cool stuff. Like, you can play as Eggman, and I think that's just very funny that he runs around like a Sonic character. You know what's going to be incredibly fun? Is the fact that I have shaky hands. Like, I just have shaky hands. No, like, reason that I know of. But my hands just na naturally shake. They are never still. And I'm painting a little fucking Sonic. This is going to be so funny. It ain't going to be pretty. It's not going to be pretty at all. No well, one was asking for it to be perfect. It's just, it's your Sonic, so you can do what you want. I'm trying to ensure that all my brush strokes go in the same direction so it gives the illusion of fur. <laughs> Chip fans is started... no, I'm the only one who likes Sonic and the Black Knight. You actually might I'm... be. I like Sonic and the Black Knight. I'm just joshing. I'm just Drake and joshing. Oh, so you, So you're a Dan Schneider production, huh? No, no, no. Okay, I take it back. <laughs> I, I take it back. I don't so you're a Zack Snyder production, huh? Dude, Zack Snyder's Drake and Josh is the reboot we need. Dude. Dude, don't don't sell me on something I can't have, man. Like There's your April Fools video, dude. Get working on it. <laughs> there will be no April Fools video. I'm away on vacation in April Fools. Oh god. I'm flying. I'm going on a flight on April Fools Day. Uh oh. What if they're just like, oh dude. joking? Like yeah, canceled. Boeing is like, <laughs> JK, guys. No, dude, it's a Ryanair flight as well. Like, I don't know. And that. they're like famously, they're like the bad one. Oh, jeez. The budget airline. Why are all of the airlines sort of like... Well, actually, I know why they're all getting bad now. It's because they haven't updated or fixed their planes in a while because it, like, saved the money. Uh... Do you think there's a chance Black Knight will get a mod similar to Freeriders? I've seen some people working on things like, uh... There like are there's controller a... things for it. On yeah, th Dolphin, there's like a, a there's setup. a Sonic and the Black Knight thing being worked on for Project 06, like a mod you can play, where they're porting the levels to that game. They're and doing the, the same, same with Secret, Secret Rings. Rings as well. Yeah. That one I think is farther along. It's called Project Wildfire because I believe the game was originally called Sonic Wildfire. Uh, it's great too because like that's the thing is I really wanted to try like the control support thing for Dolphin on Secret Rings, and it's it as good sucks. as it's gonna get. It's it good as it's gonna sucks. get, but it still sucks. Like, a Sonic game with a charge jump just is not gonna work. Like... Yeah. And this so far was... is coming out better than I expected. Good, good, good. I, I was streaming Sonic and the Secret Rings a while back. Hello, Daisy. Welcome back. Hello, and Daisy. I was playing it... Listen. <laughs> this is my daughter, okay? Uh, I was yeah, playing daughter. Secret Rings with my Wiimote. I was playing it, like, the way it was meant to be played. So people couldn't even say, oh, it's because of the weird controls, you're doing bad. It just, it's just abysmal to play the whole time, forever. Like, there's no it's good way to fun. play it. I know that there's like a power-up that's supposed to improve steering, but A, why is that a power-up, and B, Ugh. it still sucks. Yeah, uh, it's, it's another game where people say once you're like fully upgraded with Sonic, the game is a lot better, and it's like, okay, well I don't want to like have to work this to get to This is not the Werehog, right? This, this is not a Werehog situation. I would take the Werehog over Secret Rings any day. I, I think... I would play the entirety of Werehog rather than play Secret Rings. To tell you the truth, I enjoy the Werehog stages more than the Knuckles treasure hunting in Adventure 2. And like, I still like it, obviously, but like I prefer the Werehog to that. Knuckles treasure hunting takes longer for me than Werehog. SA2 treasure hunting stages can take way too long, I agree. I think the yeah, Warhawk still takes me really longer awesome. most of the time, but I, I agree. I love the mech shooting stages, though. I always enjoy those. I'm glad because those still at least feel more like the Sonic stages. You know, like, it's about the platforming more than the treasure hunt thing. Yeah. Uh, I think I played as Cream last time I did this, so I'll play as Tails. The name next mainline Sonic game should look... Uh, I, I think it should look like this game. <laughs> I think this should game look as looks good as a mobile awesome. game, indeed. Should look like this with a AAA budget. Should look as least as good. Oh, I remember mm, this I'm getting, This is the four men, right? Scared. There's three of them? Yeah, the four man. Which feels <laughs> like a Mario thing, but it is what it is. Better shut it down. 
<laughs> this boss is a bit of a mixed bag, this one. This Tails model is actually Nobody really good. Me, Eggman. He's so orange. Like he should be. Well, yeah, Tails is orange. Yeah. Anyone that thinks he's yellow is just fucking stupid. Yeah, like, you ever see all those debates? Like, people are like, who, who the fuck? Like, wh what color is Tails, guys? He's yellow, right? And it's like, I could literally go to Home Depot and hold up a yellow splotch of paint up to this fox's head. And it's like, he's so clearly not yellow. He's orange yeah, he's as fuck. I know someone who very much instigates a lot of those debates. I know who you're talking about. <laughs> I know two people who very much. Uh, I actually do, do know two people as well, but I at least agree with one of them. I agree with one of them too. <clears throat> I agree with Nick. I do not agree with Gilly. Well, I was thinking my friend Kenny has a lot of stuff to say about Tails because she's like the number one Tails person. Kenny, is that a Kenny adventure? Yes. <clears throat> yeah, she's lovely. She's a very good friend, very good person. She also does an amazing Tails voice. She, she is like... I don't know how she does She could do like multiple of the Tails voice actors. It, it's like... <laughs> it's very impressive. I don't know how she does it. Who is she now? Yep. Oh, interesting. <clears throat> oh shit, I the fourth man! I wonder if there's anyone that could use that. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, you, you, for your fan thing. You could probably... Send her a message or something. Oh Definitely. god. <clears throat> Just you a shame Nick is we don't cool. know if Tails is in that I'm yet. sorry, Chip fan, do you think Nick is colorblind and can only see green? <laughs> I mean, he can see orange. <laughs> However, yeah, there was a bit in the recent video that I edited for him on the Grimms, where he's like, and from a cloud of green smoke comes the metal big. It's like, that was purple smoke. That's a... How did he mess that one up? Probably because he was doing it from memory, I think. I don't blame him for not having Prime memorized. Okay, no, that's fair. From all we've talked about Prime, I, I don't want to memorize it either. I've already got what enough of it lame. burned into my brain <laughs> in a way that I don't want it to be. What a lame show that was. I'm so sad it was... Like, again, voice actors, fucking awesome. I think they carried that shit so hard. I think the visuals, not that bad most of the time. Aside from, like, some generic locations. The story, yeah, the writing... Yeah, no, and there's, like, oh. there's, like, the occasional ugly shot where, like, the face hasn't been quite oh, animated shit, perfectly, but, like, that's it, really. Like, I don't have any complaints about Prime's animation overall. And, like, ugly shots in animation are inevitable, too, like... Yeah, I mean, it can't be... It's never gonna be perfect. I just... In an ideal world... It's, it's a great show that does all the things that we wanted it to do, but there's no ideal world for a Sonic fan. <laughs> <laughs> we would all need our own ideal worlds. We always have a monkey's paw. Yep. Like, oh, we get the Sonic toy party, it's real, but, oh, they stole the Toy Story logo. Damn, can't support that, guys. I wouldn't mind betting, though, that that's gonna be just a placeholder. If it's a placeholder, I find that extremely funny. Like, I, I find that humorous, but, like, if that's the, thing the real is, though, logo, I'm always it's like, dubious. okay. Like theft. I'm always dubious of like calling things placeholders ever since Sonic Superstars. I'm being like, oh, it's gonna be okay, guys. That boss theme's just a placeholder. Okay. Yeah, yeah that, that one really stung, huh? They wouldn't really have Sonic 4 sounding music in this, right? They've learned. They wouldn't have like six different clashing music styles in Sonic Superstars, would they? You wouldn't use the vacuum VST for another Sonic sound. It's like those old uh, anti-piracy ads that are like, you wouldn't yeah. download you a wouldn't car. You wouldn't download Sonic Superstars in the Epic Games Store. You wouldn't pay for I Sonic Superstars. Rabbit, I did. At least, at least, at least not. I, I did twice. I was trying to think if I got a review code, but I think I did just buy that one. Yeah, no, because I didn't make a video or anything about it. I just bought it on my own. I've never received a review code. It stings. You can just email people. Who? I'd Actually, DM that. me that. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Just remind me later. I think yeah. like I I had no, because that, that's the thing is I reached PR out stuff. when Frontiers came out. I reached out to like all the right people and stuff. 
And I remember I was at Nick's at the time, and both Nick and I had been reaching out, and it was that thing of like, he got one, and I did not. <laughs> Uh, but oh, it's God, cool, oh, actually, man. I have a story I'm about mad. that. Not about Nick I, Game I'm Boy, mad. but I have a story. Uh, when I got I got a Sonic Frontiers review code, and I was playing it. Uh, they told me the way I had to play it on Steam was I had to like, I had to turn off my privacy settings or whatever, or turn on my privacy settings so people wouldn't see that I was playing the game. And uh, for some reason, it still showed up like on. Um, it showed up on. This on the store page or something for it. It's like someone on my friends list said, "Oh, Dylan, look at this," and it's like friends on your list who are playing this game. And it was just me, and I was like, "Fuck! What do I? I didn't mean to do that. Like, how do is that, are they going to be mad at me for that? Like, I, I did what they told me to do. It was. Oh, I don't also, think it was ever anything, but it was funny. Update, update. The blue is on the arm. Oh, good. Okay. It's over. It's over for for Tan Arm Sonic. Tan Arm Sonic's about to meet his fucking maker. <laughs> He's about to be executed I'll... live on stream. I'll do to him what Chris Chan did to Blue Arm Sonic. You mean the store display? Uh, he he did this little thing where he was like, "I'm gonna tear off his arms if they don't fix it." Damn. It's aggressive. He had like a plot. Where am I going here? Oh, sorry, they, she, I don't know, but... Blue arms. Blue arms? They just Blue look better, arms man. Blue arms and I don't know green, how to arms. green arms. Gr green, green arms. Green arms. <laughs> Point, they don't give you any green paint for his eyes. Dude, what if you showed up oh. to the next Sonic game and he had green eyes? What would I do if he had green eyes? Sorry, <laughs> I do what I always do. I, I, I'd be like, oh, cool, Sonic. A green arm. I can't believe I said that wrong like three times in a row. I, I have like a zero percent brain function today. Dylan dementia. Yep, it's the Dylan dementia arc. Green arms. What if you showed up to the the world premiere of the new Sonic game and he showed up and it was like a super serious game with like an amazing story and the, the visuals were incredible, but he had green arms and nothing else was green, not even his eyes. I'd, uh... I'd phone Nick to congratulate him. <laughs> what do you think this is? Sonic Boom? He had blue arms in that one. Come on, he didn't have green arms. People over exaggerate Boom. Boom was great. The Boom cartoon was great. The game was just 5 out of 10, but like, the show. Was I've just great. remembered that I do not like this level very much. What's wrong with this level? It's. It's like I don't like some of the the super explorey parts of this level. Like when you're on a time limit, you know. Like I feel like it's kind of cumbersome to traverse around occasionally, and there's a lot of climbing. I think I said this when I first played the game because I don't think I ever made a video about this, but I think it's kind of uh, what's the word? It's kind of redundant to have Knuckles and Rouge be the climbing characters when you already have wall running that's basically just climbing except faster. It doesn't really, like, I, I get that it's like, it's more precision based, you're doing stuff like this. But if I'm gonna be running or going, like, moving on walls like this, I might as well just be doing it faster, right? I miss the days when Knuckles could climb on anything. Yeah, I miss when Knuckles had green arms. Shut up! Yeah, I mean, I guess him climbing on anything is also... It's part of a problem, though, you know? Because, like, I understand why they're limiting it now, but that also kind of makes the character worse overall. Because if he, he can climb yeah, like, anywhere, like in the classics and stuff, and let's say, like, the Sonic CD levels, that's why he wasn't in it originally, because it was going to just... Oh, yeah, I forgot the gliding sucks. Uh, you know, if he can climb I'm anywhere, then it's going to break level design. Knuckles is just a character that's difficult for them to get right these days for some reason. Like, that's the thing, is people always talked about, like, the turning arc of his glide in Sonic Frontiers. I wish people talked more about the fact that his climbing is terrible in Frontiers. Yeah, it's not good. It feels very bad. <laughs> yeah, it's like, unless you are pushing forward, he will not attach to the wall. But as soon as you're pushing forward, he'll start climbing. It's like, maybe I don't want him to move yet. 
<laughs> My friend Jack said green arms from all the spinach. Arr, 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 arr. Oh yeah, you know, eat your green vegetables just like Sonic. Sorry, that the was famous that was Mr. Veggie. Krabs, not Popeye, but it was close enough. Okay, lesson learned. Sonic is a difficult character to paint. <laughs> I feel like painting anything is difficult. I, I have extreme respect for anyone who does painting and can, like, hold their hands still enough to do it. Yeah, I, I can't hold my hands still. So I'm just kind of like, you know what? Maybe I color outside the lines. Maybe. Who knows? <laughs> I mean, that's Maybe that's too. just what this... Maybe that's just it's... what this Sonic is, you know? It's all about what you feel works for what you're doing. It's your Sonic. This is Sonic from the universe where not only does he have blue arms, he's also very imprecise looking. <laughs> he's off model in this universe. Sega finally dropped the mandate this time and let him look a little different. The coloring book universe. Actually, wouldn't that be funny though? It's like Sonic from the universe of painted wax figures. <laughs> That's like it's like the the shit they do in Spider Verse. How they had like the oh this is the Lego Spider Man universe. I would love like a Sonic universe, or, or like a Sonic universe kind of game, where it's just like the universes are the most weirdly specific things. Like Sonic, where he wears blue shoes instead of red shoes, and he's also a little bit of an asshole. <laughs> Sonic from the universe where everyone just has to take a poop right just now. That means Eggman never gets anything done, Sonic can never get anything done. I mean, that would probably be for the best, that'd be a very peaceful universe. Why is he always running? Bathroom. I can relate. I used to have a lot of trouble with that when I was, uh, normal. When I, when I had all of my usual organs, my correct organs. Back before you were a fucking freak. Um... <laughs> 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 Alright, do you want to exactly. see a, a progress pick? Yes, yeah, the Chip Chap's asking for a, uh, a progress update. Alright. Let me get a pick. Uh-oh. <laughs> Wouldn't be peaceful in the bathrooms. <laughs> Everyone's just pooping out rings. You're actually so right. Can you imagine the fucking lines in that universe? Oh my all god. Right. This It'd is like the Disney blue. world all the time. Right, Here's on. the blue. Here the blue is the blue is oh, it's looking pretty painted good. on now. I, I I like that so far. Is it acceptable? Is it to your liking? Hold on. Uh... Are you gonna show it to the stream as well? Yes. Yeah. I'm just putting it on stream. So this is the progress update. He is now partially blue. With blue arms. With blue arms, indeed. Oh, now I can move this. Oh, so the fact that I'm painting him at a computer desk is kind of raw. <laughs> like, that's what I do most of the shit I do at my computer desk. Like, I, I've been building like little Mega Man model kits, and I just build them at my desk because I'm this is my putting desk. another layer of blue on him. Good. Yeah, I gotta keep it sealed. Keep the blue in order, or else it'll turn green. Yeah, or else it'll turn green. We wouldn't want that now, would we? I. I don't think anyone does, no. Except Nick. Some people really love the Boom universe. What do you mean, some people? I'm right here. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Some people. The nerve of some people. <laughs> Racist. Where is the last... Oh, there's two more crystals. Oh, Knuckles! I love the Boom Universe. I saw the vision. I think it could have been executed a lot better, but I liked I that think... world. I like a lot of facets of it, but uh, it, it, it's there's just some stuff that I, I can't get behind. Like I, I I feel like the games are a huge part of it for me, and as much as I love the TV show, I I, I can't really justify it and be like, yeah, I love Boom because of just the TV show, you know. The truth is, it didn't actually need to be a different universe, did it, really? Like, they could have... It might not even said, be at this point. It might just this be is how the characters are just written now, you know? Yeah. Do you wish Sega let Big Red Button make Sonic Synergy like they really envisioned? Uh, yeah, yes? 
I, I don't know, I feel like I might not have liked the gameplay style regardless, but like at least they wouldn't have been like like laughed off the face of the earth. <laughs> you know, like Put it I, this I, way. I'm not happy about that, if I guess. You, if you didn't like Rise of Lyric because it didn't have a very good balance of speed and platforming, which is the main thing I don't like about that game, Synergy would not have fixed that. Yeah, so I probably wouldn't have liked it anyway. But, I mean, I would have liked for it to be a better game. That way, that way people could have enjoyed it, uh, you know. And then that would have, in turn, let them go on to make more games. Sort of like how we have um, uh, Sanzaru Games made that first Sonic Boom on the 3DS, and then I guess that did well enough for them to make a sequel, and they improved everything to such a degree that I say I really like that game. I would have loved to yeah, see Fire their third attempt, great. you know. Fire and Ice was good. I, I liked it. But uh, they'll never get another chance to do it, because <laughs> that's just how the Boom brand went. It's very unfortunate. It deserved better, man. I think Sonic as a whole just deserves better, <laughs> in some cases. That was the thing I always found so annoying about like the 2017 era of Sonic, though. Was, like, you get countless jokes about, like, Sonic 06 from, like, you know, the Sonic social media stuff. And we had that whole thing of, like, where the Sega guy was saying, like, oh, we, we realize we've lost players' trust, so we want to restore it with quality titles. And, you know, then they, they dropped Sonic, Sonic Lost World. Sonic Forces. No, it was Forces. Oh. 2017. Well, I'm still mad um, about Lost World, too. There were just so many, like, jokes about how, like, oh, yeah, Sonic in the 2000s sure used to suck, didn't it? And then they drop forces, and it's like, you've learned nothing. Yep, that's how it went. And they did reference Boom and Frontiers, but like, we don't know how solid what of a extent? reference it is. You know, they, they mentioned sticks, and it's like, okay, it so sure sticks does exists. not move. It doesn't mean the Boom universe is canon. It it's just a means that there's a stick. You know, like, there, there may be a, like a modern sticks, a real sticks. It's the one you saw in the Olympics. There you go. I feel like that's the same one, though. Yeah. Maybe she's just an interdimensional traveler. You know, okay. She did travel from the Boom universe to the main yep. universe in the Sonic in the Archie comic. Worlds Unite thing. She meets yep. the real she's Sonic, there. and she's like, hey, where are your bandages? And he goes, I don't know who you are. Which I assume is very sad for her. You can imagine if one of your friends doesn't recognize you. Yeah, it would hurt. It would hurt. It'd be like the one funny bit in Sonic Prime, where that one side character is just like, you'd better get with the program, or else you'll see how much worse things can get to, like, Dr. Deep. He's like, who are you? <laughs> the one genuinely funny bit. I don't even know who you are. Alright, that's the second coat of blue applied. Make a nice straight line for where his ear meets his flesh. There we go. And that's just a happy little accident. Okay, that's fuck. <laughs> just put a nice little tree on his back. Right. You're back from dinner. I might as well. I don't know when you left, so uh, we're just playing the game. She looks a little garbagey, but you know what? When does Sonic ever not look a little garbagey? You know. I feel like we've been talking about that for basically the whole stream. Yeah, people must be so upset at my stream sometimes. <laughs> they show up and we're just, like, just... talking about the same shit every time. You know, Sonic So last sucks. night I did mention that, like, Sonic Unleashed was the game that made me a Sonic fan. And it was my first 3D Sonic game. And yeah. I was looking at it like, God, the visuals in this game are so good as well. Like, my first impression of 3D Sonic was that the graphics would be, like, really They're good. They're insane. Yeah. And that it would have really good art direction. So imagine the fucking whiplash I get just seeing things play out. Yeah, what's after? What comes after Unleashed? It's generations. Oh, yeah. Unleashed, um, main games wise, it's colors. So still good. Oh yeah. Still solid. It, yeah, I mean it's on the Wii, so it's all low definition. Where the hell's my? Yeah, I but it's bad, a Wii like, vision, so I keep putting my soda down and then being like, "Where's my soda? <laughs> I can't fucking find it. It's gone." Where is my soda? Where is my soda? Surprise, SpongeBob. This game is okay. I think this game is awesome. But I, I understand I think it's, people yeah. think it's, like, whatever. It's a short game. Technically, it's $8 to play this, unless you need to buy the Apple TV. 
Or if you want to just keep it permanently, it will cost you $8 for the rest of your life. It is a really good game. Like, I, I don't know. It will cost you a small portion of your income for the rest of your days. <clears throat> One of our current stream conversations is biblical Beyblades. So the okay, well, we haven't had that be recurring. We talked about biblical Beyblade, Beyblade one time on uh, on Sonic Lost World. We talked about biblical Beyblade one time, and suddenly it's all you're about, you know? Like... It's, all, it's all it is. It's because in the Beyblade anime, there's like a scene where Moses parts the Red Sea with a Beyblade, and I I, I never want to let that go, because it's just awesome. like, holy shit, how hard does that go? You know? All right, give me a sec, I need to go find a Beyblade. Oh man, I gotta talk to your audience now. Hello, audience. How are you? I can't believe you would say that to them. <laughs> 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 Alright, I'm gonna put Sonic in front of the fan now, let the blue dry before I make a start on the rest of him. Okay, Alpha Cat, the, so that's that's not a, a running joke on my stream, that's a running joke when I'm on a stream with Sam. For some reason, when we're on a stream and talking about Sonic, Christianity just ends up coming up, and, and I don't know why. It just Wait, what do happens. you mean, you, you're friends with Sam? I thought I was your friend. Oh yeah, you are. Sorry, I meant uh, this guy, Sam, I know. This dude. Your acquaintance. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> on his streams, I don't know why. I think it's because the one time he was like, he ch compared, like, he was like, if video games were religions, what would Sonic be? And, like, without hesitation, I just went Satanism. Like, like I like I was waiting for him to say it. <laughs> and then it was compared to Mario, which was Christianity. Which I, I feel like is... It is somewhat accurate. Not not because it's like in reference to Christianity all, just because like Mario feels like they treat everything so like with so much reverence, you know? Meanwhile Sega's just like, fucking we're gonna impose these shitty mandates and make everyone miserable. I hate the mandates. It's just it's a mess. It's a mess. It's, it's a mess, a Mario. Let's see. I've robot next dreams the last Oh, wait, dude, wait. I almost had a moment of poisoning. What do you mean? I what almost are you poisoned the paint? my... I almost poisoned myself, Dylan. I... I saw the water where I've been putting the paint. And bear in <laughs> mind, it's all been blue paint. So it looked like Gatorade. I was like, I want to drink the forbidden Gatorade. <laughs> dude, that's like that fucking... You know that picture of, like... It, it, it's like a Sonic joke book or whatever. It's like the, the pig holding the juice. And they replace the text, so it says, this juice is banging, yo. It says, that's paint, asshole. Well, I think I have that on my <laughs> desktop. Uh, is have... that from, like, the Fleet Way, did you say? No, I think it's from a joke book. Hold on. You ever read any Fleet Way, Sonic? Uh, no. I just know some stuff about it. I know it is he, fantastic. He turns into an edgy, evil Super Sonic. Well, for starters, it's British. So that's your British Sonic. <laughs> he turns into an evil British Super Sonic. Oh shit, I don't know where I put it. Okay. Is it the shit oh poses? no, the paint for his... Oh, it is! For his flesh it is. Prints is very thin. Makes it's it one of my favorite images. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've seen that. That's like Porker Lewis. The... The fucking Sonic thing on his back, too. So, Porka Lewis is quite a major character in the Fleetway Sonic. Really? <clears throat> yeah. So, where um, Archie were like, okay, we'll go hard with the Freedom Fighters. The um, the UK one was like, we'll go hard with the little flicky things that come out of the pods. Okay. Alright, that makes sense. In fairness to Fleetway, at least their characters are still canon. I get. I mean, is the the pig called? What's the pig called? Isn't it Picky or something? Oh shit! Yeah, you're right. Whereas in the comic, he's called Porker Lewis. So, which I, I think is a way better name, by the way. I think Porker Lewis is a fucking amazing name for that character because it sounds like just a guy you could meet in like New York or something. Yeah. Well, it's based on Parker Lewis, um, which is, is already a character in something else. I don't know. Oh. I think probably, but um. <laughs> Oh, 
the flesh tone paint is not taking to the marble as well as the blue paint. Oh, yeah. Well, you know what they say. Paint. <laughs> yep. <laughs> if you paint the paint, then you can't paint the painty paint. Porker Lewis sounds like a Spider-Man character. <laughs> Duh. I, I, that's that's uh, Spider Ham's secret identity. Spider Ham's secret identity is Peter Porker. I know. No, you don't. You're a pig. I do. I also find it funny that he was not a pig that was bitten by a spider. He was a spider that was bitten by a radioactive by a pig. pig. <laughs> yeah, he's funny. <laughs> but he still has spider powers for some reason. Well, yeah, because the powers are the pig, the, the spider. But he was bitten by a pig. Yeah. So, so shouldn't the, he have pig, pig powers? No, because the pig manifestation is his appearance and stuff. But that's not what happened to Spider-Man. He got bit by a spider, got spider powers, and it turned into a spider. Yes. Okay, who said it has to work that way, you know? What if he was Actually, a spider? You know, in, the, bit by in the animated person? show, didn't that happen? Didn't he start turning into a spider or something at one point? It's happened in a lot of things. Man spider. Ah. Or Spider's Man. Spider's that's a Man. man who's... Well, Spider-Man spider is a man who's made of spiders. I love that guy. If you guys have ever read the Spider-Verse comics, they're, they're, it might be in the second Spider-Verse story. I don't think it's the first one. Is it? Do you remember? I don't know. I didn't read the Spider-Verse comics much. In the comics, there's a character called Spider's Man. It's, you know, not Spider-Man. It's Spider's Man. And instead of Peter Parker turning into a superhero, he fell into, like, this crazy fucking, like, spider experiment chamber where these spiders devoured him and, you know, he killed them, basically. But they gained all of his memories and, like, his functions, and they became, like, a hive mind that believes that they are Peter Parker. So this Peter Parker is just, like, a billion spiders crawling around in the Spider-Man suit, and you see him, like, wriggling underneath the costume. It's really fucking gross. Quite rude, really. Yeah. No, it's kind of fucking scary, actually. <clears throat> there was apparently a bit in the comics where he turned into a giant spider solely so they could retcon him to have the natural web fluid from the original movies. Yes. Yeah, that's um, the Evolve or Die story arc. Evolve or Die, gosh. And yeah, so it starts off with, I think, Morland bites his eyeball out. Peter? And he... Yeah. Oh, God. Morland eats Peter his eyeball. Ew. Peter's been that's, through some stuff, dude. Like, it's very rude of him to do. Yeah, he's quite rude. He needs that to see. That he does. But yeah, he gets his eyeball so. back after doing the Evolve or Die thing, and there's this creature called the Other, and he's like lingering in the trees, and he's like, for all these years, you know, you've been Spider-Man. Spider-Man is a costume that you can take off, where now the spider is taking you off, man. It's not as dumb as that, but like, it's... <laughs> It's quite, <laughs> it's quite no. nutty. I like that. Idea. If they just said that to him and he was like, what the fuck are you talking about? And then he turns into a big spider. They just said that to him. He's like, okay. He turns into Jeff the Spider from Billy and Mandy. I used to watch Billy and Mandy when I was a kid. Billy and Mandy was a very good show. That show was like one of those. That show is like Invader Zim to me. Like, I don't know how they got away with some of the shit they said on that show. <laughs> it's so funny. It's like you had so much for personality. Me, for me, like, the peak of, like, kids' animated things was uh, Rocco's Modern Life. That was a good one as well. I, I didn't get to watch that one quite as much. I, uh. Sometimes when it I was watch always a on, show like, as a as well. When I used to watch things as a kid, sometimes if I didn't like how something looked or like how it was animated, I wouldn't watch it. You didn't like so, it? I mean, I had that too, but I thought Rocco's Modern Life was a really nice looking show. Yeah, I don't know. It, it was like that. I didn't like how Jimmy Neutron looked. But I didn't watch a lot of that when I was a kid. But then later in life, Jimmy I watched Neutron. a lot of it. Yeah, James Neutron. That was a very good show. Jimmy Neutron. I just, I was a like a snob about... <laughs> About visuals, I guess, when I was a kid. <clears throat> as a kid, yeah, you had grudges against cartoons for no particular reason. 
Yeah, right, I mean, I've got I don't his know. first coat of uh, tan colored paint on. All right. But it ain't pretty. Um, he needs another coat just to smoothen things up. How do I? Where is they? Where do they want me to go here? But I'll take a little picture. There. How do I get up there? That's funny though. I watched Rugrats a lot as a kid, but I I kind of feel like that had a similar art style to Rocco, and it's also like a famously the... ugly looking show as well. Like yeah, it's like on purpose too. Like the babies look like they're all lumpy and deformed. Uh, what the fuck do I do? Here? I think I gotta go up there. That's what I'm missing. I cannot believe I've been blocked from Twitter for a week. Oh yeah, yeah, you didn't mention that yet. Tell them what happened. Yeah, man. guys, I got blocked from Twitter for a week. Yeah. You can tell them. You can tell them why. I made a joke about wanting to beat up David Zaslav for normalizing the practice of canceling movies. He got he got banned from Twitter for six days for saying he was gonna beat someone up. Six days and twenty three hours. So that's that's a week. Very cool. That's fine. That's fine. Because maybe by the end of this week I'll realize that I can live without Twitter, and then I'll never have Twitter again. I'll be done with it. This that's might be the detox that sucks, I need. Though. For like content creators, it's like a useful tool. You know, like it sucks. Well, I guess you'll just have to share my videos now, Dylan. Oh yeah, yeah, sure. You can, actually, you can just use the Sunset City account. Yeah, no, I will. I'll <laughs> just use Sunset City. Hey, they'll find a new audience, you know? Yeah, of course. I just find it so stupid. Can you imagine, like, Elon Musk showed up, he was like, I'm gonna make Twitter better than it's ever been, and then he was like, right after I make every single incorrect decision that has ever been made in the history of the world. Yeah, I, I think there are also more bots on the site than ever before also, so he, he's just entirely full of shit. Oh yeah, I don't, I don't like it. Nova Blast plays ten dollars. Thank you. Hey yo, two of my favorite creators in one stream. Heck yeah! Thanks, man. Oh, thank you. That means a lot. If you like us doing stuff together, we're on the Sunset City podcast together as well every single Friday. We also have an OnlyFans. We <laughs> the Sunset City OnlyFans has been very lacking since the rest of the crew left. Trying to eat Dylan's non-existent ass. <laughs> I honestly did not think Twitter would get as bad as it did. I really didn't think so either. Uh, but, uh, yeah. No, I, for a bit I was like, maybe it will get better. And then it, I was like, quickly proven wrong. I was like, I didn't, really know, his... I, I didn't know much about Sorry, Elon Musk before he started, you know, fucking everything up for everyone. So, I was like, maybe do you he know about, will like, do something. about, Elon Musk's uh, daughter? And uh, why he bought Twitter. I don't know, didn't he- aren't his kids named after like the TI-85 calculator or something? Uh, sure, but okay, so one of them is a daughter, but she's a, a trans girl, I believe. Um, okay. and he refuses to recognize her as a trans girl. So, Fuck. he decided that in order to fix what a things- shithead. Well, in order to fix things, to make things right, he bought Twitter so that he could help eliminate the woke mind virus that led to his daughter becoming trans. Uh, I think Elon Musk should fucking get over his goddamn self, because clearly he is not even a smidge as intelligent as he pretends to be. If he's gonna be that shitty to his own family and, in that fact, to anybody. I, I think that's fucking one of the worst things I've ever heard. That fucking sucks. Yeah, just, he's that, that really bums me out, dude. I, I mean, not and every that time I, I just was him doing stuff, pulling like, for Elon dude. Musk to be like a, you know, someone who accepts people, but that that just makes it's me no really use. sad. It's like, dude, all this is not going to get your daughter back. The key to getting your daughter back is so simple. But you just have to be... Uh, you should probably be a parent and be supportive and allow... If he cares about, like, rekindling, like, a relationship with his daughter, he should accept her. That's probably, like, what she wants. 
I, I don't, I don't speak I think he more just wants person, to prevent but... the alleged disease that led her towards becoming... That's ridiculous. That, that friend. makes me so mad. It's like, is the I... disease in the room with you right now, Elon? If I could... Well, I mean... I guess the, the opinion of Elon Musk only gets worse. The farther you look into this. Yeah. There was a law passed in Florida like about having to be 18 to use social media. That was passed? I don't hate that. That actually sounds okay. Like, I, I mean, I think it's multi-faceted, multi-nuanced, of course. Because I know that there are some kids that, like, for them, like, yeah. it can be an escape from a broken home and stuff like that. Personally, so I've always been of the belief that, like, kids should have their own social media app. But then I realize it makes it easier for predators to just find them all in one place. Yeah. Yeah, but like online safety for kids there. is such a hot button topic. Like, there's a lot of kids that just should not be in social media spaces. Do I want to give my government ID to sign up for social media? Some of it you already sort of need to. Like, I had to give my information over to YouTube because, like, you know, it's like a job. So they have all my shit. Uh, so hoping they don't get leaked or anything at any point. I don't, I don't want that out there. It's alright, I've already leaked it, don't worry about it. You've leaked my social security number. Great. Yeah. It's four, 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 four. Dude. Now they're gonna know I was born on 4404. Wait, wait, wasn't it? Oh, wait, no, I did get you a little some for your birthday. Okay, cool. I thought no, I, 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 I was born in on March 5th, 1996. I have 28 now. <sighs> Wait, that was back in February. No, that was in March. Ah. <clears throat> That's this month, I believe, for another day. One more day of Mecha March madness before Nick can rest. <laughs> Haters, are a joke for you. Haters are a joke for you. On YouTube, you just send an LMAO. I like a lot of hate comments on YouTube because it's like, I, I got one the other day, I, I made a video called like, I'll never love Sonic Heroes because I was like, I know people will fucking click on that and be angry about it. And uh, they were, but someone commented and they said, then I will unsubscribe from your channel. And I was just like, goodbye. I love it when people <laughs> See you announce later, that they're unsubscribing. Cause like, you think you're that important? He immediately tells me that the person has a delusion of self-importance the second they think it's important for them to notify me that they've unsubscribed. But something I always like to publicly warn people of is like, uh, just, just so you know. Yeah. Right? And this I, goes I, like, for I don't everyone. Even in... Know about it? No, no, no. Everyone needs to know. Everybody, you know already because you're part of it. No, I'm saying when but... when they say I don't, I'm unsubscribed. I don't care. Like I don't need to know. You know. Well, like that's. I'm, I'm about to tell. The whole community, a little secret, right? Little secret community. Okay. Every single YouTuber in the world, including your favorites, is all in a group chat. And when you go acting like an idiot in the comment section, we post it in that group chat, and all the YouTubers, including your faves, laugh at you. So just think before you comment, yeah? Make sure to comment, rate, and subscribe, please. But think about it first, yeah? Is it worth it? Is it worth the humiliation by people you love? <laughs> by people you That's respect? a very parasocial thing to say. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, Goomba, also, well, I have I'll, played I'll this game before. I'll make you unparasocial. I have played it before. I don't love you back. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. And I never will. In don't fact... reveal the dark secrets. <laughs> in fact, we think you're fucking disgusting. <laughs> I love... Uh... Playing Sonic games. Do you love your viewers? I do, and I'm very happy that people, like, actually want to watch things that I make. And, uh, I'm gonna say, lately, I've been having a lot more fun doing stuff like this, and, like, like making shorts and posting shorts and stuff. I feel like it's been actually really good for the channel itself. I that hate your viewers. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh... But I've been having a very good time, and it, it, it's made me more motivated lately. That could also be, like, the Adderall talking, which is definitely Especially helping. Especially the like, here right now. I hate him. Oh, shit, pup. But they're complimenting yep. your Sonic bit you're painting. Don't you have to, you have to say thank you? I hate him. I don't need your feedback. Okay, you know what? I mean, have, you, 
That's actually good. Have you like, shown them? Have you shown what? them the most recent one, by the way? I want to oh, know what sorry. they think. Hold on. Uh, I can't pause this level because the pause button still doesn't work, so I can show it right after this one. Who's, whose problem is that? Whose fucking problem is that? Well, the level's over. Shut the fuck up. All right. Uh, you sure? Hey, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Another five from Nova Blast, please. I really want to play Sonic Dream Team, but you don't own an Apple device, nor do you want to buy one. I don't blame you for that, and I really wish everyone could play this game because I think it's really, really fun. I, I think this is yeah, honestly a really good game, girls. and it's unfortunate that people cannot uh, play it when they want to. Uh, it, it's the same kind of deal as, like, all the streaming services now. You know, like, a lot of people are like, oh, I would really love to watch Invincible. The Simpsons. Or The Simpsons. Well, that's on a couple streaming services, isn't it? This yes. is the current progress. You can see he's got tan on his little belly and face now. It ain't Very pretty, cool. but it's gonna it's gonna be better. Oh, it looks good so far. It'll be better in the next game. I'm just <laughs> patching him up a little. Ship fan says, I missed the part where that's my problem. Hey, hey. <laughs> yes. Feeling good. Oh, gosh. Uh, what was I saying? Uh, oh, thank you, by the way. Uh, Sugar the ang Angle Clown. I realize I've been saying your name wrong for a long time. I've been reading this Angel. Sugar the Angle Clown. Angle. Uh... Thank you for that. I appreciate it. Let's see. Did Funimation merge into Crunchyroll? I believe it did, and that's why my Crunchy uh, my Funimation account is gone. And I'm just I was watching One Piece on. Honestly, I just switched to Netflix because my dad pays for that, so I just I just got rid of Crunchyroll. I already you watched, know a uh, bikini can be a One Piece if they take the pants off. Uh, I mean, yeah, I guess that's factual. I'm in one woman's swimwear. Basically. Don't they also have a thing? It's called a One Piece, where it's like you you travel through the Grand Line and you. you... Sorry, I'm good. <laughs> that what? Didn't... I just I started going into about? One Piece, One Piece lore. What's a One uh, Piece? A One Piece. It's a it's a treasure left behind by Gold D. Roger. It's a it's the culmination of his legendary journey. Uh, uh, that kicks off the great pirate era that drove countless men to the seas. So it's Sonic Prime. No, not at all. <laughs> like, not even a little bit. Not even no place. That fucking ocean world is like one piece at all. That's just like a generic it... pirate thing. Is it anywhere near as good as Sonic Prime? One Piece, one piece is like, I think, one of the best shows I've ever watched. Like, is period. It yeah, it sucks. I hate it. No one knows what One Piece is. Not even the creator. Well, he's taken a... I think he said he's taken a few months off now. Which, like... I, I think that was... I, I don't know when the last time he's taken Understandable. If I'd made such a bad show, I'd want time off, too. <laughs> I don't think he works on the show. I think he just works in the manga, but... That shit hit chapter, like, 1,050 or something. 1,150 or something. I keep seeing it trending on Twitter. I think it's actually getting pretty close to its conclusion, which is kind of that. insane to think about. Not the show. The show is, I don't think, anywhere close to its conclusion. I think that's going to be going for probably f farther than, like, the rest of us will live, but, you know. Like The Simpsons. Like The Simpsons, yeah. I think it's ending when he comes back. Yeah, no, I, I respect the fact that he's taken some time off because I, I I feel like it, it may have been in res, in uh, in response to the passing of Akira Toriyama. I, I think he was like, I need to just take. I mean, not not like obviously he's you know affected by it, but I think it might be like a health thing as well. Like I'm gonna take a break and like focus on health, which is like good. It's like please do because uh, in this day and age, your health is very important as it has always been and a lot of jobs do not take that <laughs> into account they will just be like hey keep going until you keel over like they they will not care especially with content that's unfortunately how it is <clears throat> i'm dying oh pup that sucks i'm sorry yeah i went to the doctor the other day i have can oh, of coke that's right you sent me that 
You, you were like, hey, I don't know how to tell you. He sent me a message that said, I don't know how to tell you this. I went to the doctor. I have can of Coke. And I was just like, I was listening to it, like, drinking my, my soda. And I was like... Thinking about how I was going to take over the podcast. <laughs> yeah, what plans have you got? Who's the who's the new pup? Uh, I'm going to be I'll honest, man. I don't, I, I don't think I'd be able to replace your specific energy. I don't think I'd be able to find someone to do that. That's true. Like, when, when the others left, I was not looking for people that matched their energy. I was looking for the people that would be good. That's not, like, an insult to them. That's... No, I understand what you mean. Like, <laughs> you're not looking for a... I, I get it. Like, you're not looking for, hey, I need a, like, a Wayne stand-in. You were just like, hey, who, who can bring a new dynamic to this? Yeah. You never watch anime. What is it like? Uh, Japanese. Sometimes. But you can watch it in English. I've never uh, had sex. What's it like? <laughs> it's... Uh... I, I declined to comment. I, I don't want to say the same thing, because I feel like I don't have an answer. Uh, but so, Dylan, what is it like? I'm a virgin. What Please. is it like? Uh, it's sort of like... You ever have, like, a... You ever you ever listen to the Sonic Frontier soundtrack? Are you a virgin, too? Awesome! Oh, that's badass. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> like if you've listened to the Sonic face. Frontier soundtrack, then you know what sex is like. Quiet and then really loud and then quiet again. It's uh, things pop in and out. And you... <laughs> I can't make myself like laugh drugs. Like that. Oh fuck! I had more. To it's say amazing. Just get, get get Dylan to explain what sex I is started... and you debilitate him with laughter. <laughs> st... Oh shit! Because when I said when I when I started mentioning pop it, I didn't think about it for a second. I was like, oh shit, you could actually say pop in and out. It's like an innuendo. Oh, that's why I love Sonic Frontiers so oh, much. God. I gotta go open my window. Sonic. I'm sorry, I'm laughing too much. What? Why do you have to open your window? Because you're laughing. I've never heard of that before. It's like, I don't know, when I, <laughs> when I laugh a lot, I start getting, like, like, hot. I don't know if that makes sense. I guess it's, it's getting hotter out, too, so my room's just hot. I close my windows for too long. It's just like, oh, God. I wonder if I'm women climbing out the window. <laughs> I wonder if women will like me better if I make them laugh. Uh, yes, probably. Generally, when I'm around women, I try to be all uh, broody and quiet. Well, I mean, it works for Shadow the Hedgehog. I'm like, I'm a tortured soul. <laughs> a I lot listen of people to like Weezer. Shadow the Hedgehog. So, let's see. Another five from Nova Blast Place. Thank you, man. I appreciate all the support. Garrel is trying to play, but Garrel is trying to explain sex equals brain rot. It just. <laughs> Damn, is it that bad, huh? I don't have a brain, man. What is sex? I don't know what it is. It's a biological function where two people uh, yes. get jiggy with it. Like in Banjo-Kazooie. Yes, like in Banjo-Kazooie. Exactly. Like a lot of the times when they collect the jiggy, that's sort of like what sex is like. And then you go, go? At the end. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we need to... <laughs> I don't want to talk about this anymore. <laughs> I do. Oh, fuck. <clears throat> it's a shop in the UK that sells secondhand electronics. <laughs> yeah, oh, no, God. I've been there. That's convenient. Okay, let's see. It is actually is. called SAG. But it's spelled with a C hey, instead of Hey, pump it up! Oh, shit. Dude, I thought that came from the game for a second. Hey! Yeah, I was like, Ryan? Ryan. Uh, Rouge. Yes! Look at her. Look at her chest. Oh my goodness.
Oh my goodness. <laughs> Always play as Rouge, please. That's the last mistake you'll ever make. Oh my god. What, what are they doing with the voice direction with her in this game, though? I gotta be real. Like, yeah, what the fuck Sonic are they Dream Team, try not to get a boner challenge. Impossible. Could you, could you please swallow helium for eight days before you record for Rouge? Yeah, the fact that you can hear her voice cracking with certain lines of dialogue as well does not help. Oh, I forgot the homing attack. <laughs> it travels like six states in this game. <clears throat> Like, look at this thing. It should have way cooler music than it. Oh, look at her. Look at her. Okay, I was about to say, the animation there was actually really good. Like, do you see how the character just, like, faces actually emote in this game? Instead of yeah, just, like, having face. their eyes That's widen. Looking at. I was looking at the face. I know, I understand. I understand what you're saying, okay? I get it. But, like... I mean, I was, I was, you know, like, truth be told, like... I'm being, I'm being all serious I need is the here. Eyes. These fucking... All I really need is the eyes. Like... The animations are doing really well. Everything else, like, is great and all, but, like, if, if I don't have the eyes, like, that's that's the thing, is I need the eyes. You need the eye contact. What the- wait, what do you mean? Oh, shit. Uh, Keo Cartoons, hello! Welcome to the stream, dude. Good to see ya. Okay. Dylan, stop pretending you like your fans. <laughs> I do like them! <laughs> they that's show so up and support me. That's so parasocial of you. You're so parasocial towards them. Yeah. A pair of social. You are literally dream. I- I'm not. I'm- I'm Nightmare. Did he ever have like a- Did he have like an edgy, like, anti-version of himself that he called Nightmare? I don't think he did. That would have been very expected of like a Minecraft YouTuber or something. Okay, uh, what was I just gonna say? So, when you play this fight as Knuckles, obviously, you see him dig his knuckles into the wall. How does Rouge stick to the wall like that? Spider-Man. She's got, like, spider powers. Why like, do you watch, think I love him? He's, he's part of the Spider she's, Society. She puts, uh, she's a spider totem. Oh, shit! Damn it. Oh, don't give me the spider totems, man. I don't like the spider totems. I don't like the idea that, like, being Spider-Man is, like, a that? destiny thing. Like, I, I like I it better when it's, like, I... when it's just, like, an accident, you know? Yeah, sorry, I just heard, like, someone ripping a huge-ass fart or something outside my house. Oh, there was a dude practicing burping outside what? my apartment window the other day. I was like, that's disgusting. Wait, what ha What did I just do? Why am I back here? I wasn't looking. What happened? I... Did anyone see what happened? Uh, okay. Well, I, I mean, I guess the boss isn't that long. We'll just play it again. I feel like I must have clicked something when I wasn't looking. I paused and reset, but the pause button hasn't worked for, like, the entire stream. I can't pause right now. <laughs> Oh, uh, you missed the QTE where it makes you press the pause button. Is that... <laughs> that would piss me off. Dude, actually, I have a funny QTE story. When I first played Sonic Forces, I, I played the whole game on stream the day it came out. And for some reason, the controls were bugged when I was playing it on Steam. So I was playing on yeah. controller, but it thought I was using keyboard the whole time. And the only problem with that is that I couldn't do the double boost QTE. So every time they did the double boost, they would fail it. But then it didn't matter because you just go forward anyway. Yeah. Except in the fucking final boss where you need to do the triple boost to win the game. So I couldn't complete the game. What is it with you and like just trying to play a game and a button's not working that you need? I don't know, man. I just like I got there and I was like, I do. The, I was like, uh oh, I hope this doesn't matter like the other ones. And I couldn't complete the triple boost. I had to find it on the keyboard. I had to, like, mash keyboard keys until it worked. You could have just opened Angel, the menu. Angle, you tank. remember that? You were there for that stream? That's crazy. I was, like, fucking 27. You could the menu and checked, you brainlet. Well, I think I was just kind of sick of it because I had played the entire Sonic Frontiers game in one stream, and I was like, fuck, man. I, I... Forces. Forces game. Forces, not Frontiers, sorry. Frontiers is a very long game. I've played the entire Frontiers in one stream. I paused and reset by mistake, but I... 
I, I can't pause though. I, I, the pause menu doesn't work right now. I swear. So that's like the only time the pause menu has worked. I accidentally reset the game. Is that what you're telling me? You saw it. I, it's not that I don't believe you. It's just that I don't understand how it happened. Like, why would it just work now? If Rouge the Bat existed and I dated her, do you reckon people would approve? Does just Rouge the Bat exist? Or do all of them exist? Like, is this like a common occurrence just that Rouge. like... Just Rouge. It is not a common occurrence. Only Rouge. Yeah. Do you think people I... would approve? No, I don't think so. I, <laughs> I think... I, I think, think people they'd would be, be very down. angry at you. I think they would be jealous of you. I think that's what it would be. Yeah, deep down, like, they would be jealous. But like, at first, they'd be like, you freak. But deep down, they would be like, I want some of that. You think... <laughs> Koopa says if, they, if she existed, people would be confused. I think she would be dissected, honestly. If she existed. I wouldn't let that happen. I'm the only one that gets to dissect her. Alright. It's a monogamous relationship. <laughs> Jespo would like Rosalita to be real. Rosalita is real. She just lives in space. Alright. Oh, I love this next world. This next one's good. Oh, that's the best world in the game. The, uh, fix her. Ego City. Ooh, Nova said Blast that. Plays said $5. If Rouge existed and Channel Pop dated her, I'd approve. Go get her, my guy. <laughs> yeah, get that Odyssey. <laughs> it's very supportive, man. Thank you. That's super supportive. He gives you money and tells me that I'm supported in my. Yeah, he lets you be who you want to be. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> I appreciate that. Thank you for you. You support my friend in his endeavors. He finally admits I'm his friend. Excellent. Wait, <laughs> I call you my friend all the time. You in, do not. In private, you're, you're like, in private. I don't is... tell anyone else that. You're like, this is Pup. He's a this dude. Oh, he... I slipped! Oh no, I got white on his arm. God damn it. Oh no. Okay, you know what? The last I'll time paint I painted it. something, it was not anything substantial, but I have this Mario 2 themed, like, wall clock that doesn't work anymore because it's old as fuck. I, I found it at a flea market a long time ago. And, uh... For some reason, uh, I don't know why we did it, but like we, what, what am I, where am I going? We tried to paint the, the edge of it to make it red, and I think it's because we figured it, it's pink now because it was like, um, faded over time, so we painted it red, but we got a bunch of red on like all the white parts around where the characters are. Oh, jeez. And it, it, it pissed me off, and so when I moved into my house that I'm at now, that was one of the main things I took from my old room, because I, I just think it's such a unique, cool thing. Like, I've literally not really seen it anywhere else. And uh, I painted over with all those red spots, and it was very difficult. Like, it, it's like, I don't have a steady hand, and it's, like, you can still see, like, white splotches and, like, red on it. And it's like, okay, but just yes! don't look at it very close, you know? Just don't look at it. Uh, hold on, I, I, can, I can try and find a picture of it, because it's actually, it's kind of a neat thing. I think that's going to be the case with little Sonic here, but I'll do my best. Again, I can't pause the game. Maybe that'll work. Hold on. So this clock is also very interesting because it's got a bunch of Mario 2 characters on it, like Wart and Triclide and those bosses. But it yeah. also has Bowser on it, which is interesting. I can't actually... It's not actually... Oh, here it is. All right, I painted his eyes successfully. That's good. Oh wow, this one's in really good condition. So, okay, I, the the edge was not supposed to be red. It's, I guess supposed to just be this faded pink color. Alright. So I have I have this up in my room behind me. And I always thought it was super that cool. That looks good, what's wrong with it? What? No, 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 this isn't the picture of mine. This is the one I found on Google. Oh. Uh... <clears throat> so the one in my room... It, you know, hold on, I can probably show you. I just gotta, like, turn off the green screen. So that's what it's supposed to look like. I 
not scared the cat. She didn't like that. Dylan, can you teach us karate <laughs> while you're standing? I only took karate a little bit when I was a kid. There's my version of it. See, it's red. It's the same class. That's, that still looks good. That looks fine. Like From this far away, it does. Yeah. Hello. But I, I like it. I, I think it does look good from afar. I know, Daisy. I know. There's a lot of noise. I know. Daisy, you silly cat. I'll kill you. No, no. Oh, you know what? This might be making me hot to this jacket. Back. I will do what must be done to that cat. She's here. Hello, Daisy. You just woke up, huh? Again? Don't show your butt to the camera. Stop doing that. Yeah, let me see your little pink ring, Daisy. <laughs> Don't talk to my cat like that. I want to see your uh, pink ring. No. All right. Uh, let's see. What? Let me see the pink ring. ring. Let me see the pink ring. <laughs> Turn that poop into wine. Did, Turn that poop did you see? into <laughs> wine. Did you see the noise update for Pizza Tower? I did. I love Pizza Tower. The noise update's very good. It definitely makes the game very replayable. I mean, it was already very replayable, but... The Master Sword. That was a birthday gift for a few years ago. It was a good one. Daisy. Look, say hi. Say hello. <laughs> yes. Here, look. Look at the camera. Yeah! <laughs> You talk to that cat like it's a child. This it's is not my a child. child. It's an adult. It's, it's an adult. My... That's an adult. She cat. is technically. She's old. Yeah, she is eleven. But like. Literally on death's door. No. <laughs> cats live a long time. <laughs> my friend's cat's like twenty years old. <laughs> That's awesome. You good girl. There's actually a thing I read about recently that like, apparently a lot of cats end up having like, it's either like kidney or liver issues. I don't remember which one. But, uh, there was, like, a new thing created recently that helps prolong cat lifespans for that reason. Like, That's uh, awesome. Help their little, little organs. Yeah. Hey, pump it up! Oh. Oh, sorry, yeah. Your sorry, thank you for cool. the five also, Nova Blaster. I appreciate it. This is a good Did cat. your cat just talk? Yeah. She went, hey, pump it up! <laughs> Oh, refer right, this is when he goes she, traveling. This is what she likes to do. She likes to like sit on me like this. <laughs> the little paw. Oh, man, I wish way. I could get a woman that would do that with me. <laughs> <laughs> you want fan art? Daisy is a Sonic character. Oh God, no! Don't corrupt her. Daisy has a Sonic fan character shipped with Dylan is sixty four. Oh God, no! No, 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 no! This is my this is my baby. This is my daughter. Yeah, that makes it even better. What are you doing, Step Garrulous64? Distorted chick. Hi, Garrulous is my first time here. Hey, Pup's here too. Hello, welcome. Hello. Hi. Alright, uh, let's... Anyone wants to make explicit fan art of Dylan and his cat? Do not make way. explicit fan art of my fucking cat. Don't make her an anthro first, though. Like a, a, a hot Ow. Sonic cat. Don't make my cat into a Sonic character. I don't want that. That is make not... Make your cat into a Sonic character. Do not do that. She is not a Sonic awesome. character. She is, she is, she sleeps all day. She doesn't do anything. Yeah. Sleepy the cat. Sleepy the feline. <laughs> Sleepy the... Sleepy, Sleepy the feline. The pee -pee. Feline up Dylan's... I don't know. Stop it. Something. <laughs> this is a cat. This is a... His cat. naughty sausage. <laughs> what are you doing, step cat? Pup wants this way too much. <laughs> he so is advocating stupid. for very strange material. Where am I fucking going in this level? Did I... I? I wish I could press start and restart the stage so I could tell where I'm supposed to be going. I just know that teenage Pup would have appreciated it. <laughs> what the fuck? All right. Okay, I think I know what happened. I fell down that area, and that's why I get confused. And I've done it again. Her power would be scratching. She doesn't scratch very much. She is... Actually, I guess she scratches, like... Like the, like the bed sheet and stuff. Like, she likes to scratch blankets and stuff. Oh, she, she loves like sinking her claws in the bed sheets. That's how you know you're doing a good job. Pup, shut up, dude. 
Uh, let's see. Nova Blast, another five. If we turn that cat into a Sonic character, Pup's gotta become a non-anthro dog. <laughs> so you're gonna drop yeah, Pup as, like, make... a regular dog? <laughs> that would mean that I'd be unable to talk. Oh, no, well, Scooby-Doo's a non-anthro dog, and he can talk. Hey, pump it up! Yeah, but can you imagine if in every video now I'm like, <laughs> That'd be a really good April Fool's Day joke. But you're gonna be on vacation! Yep, so I can't do it. I, mean, I could make one for tomorrow, I guess, but... Well, couldn't you make an April Fool's joke and then set it to be scheduled? If I have to, like, pack, though, you know? Like... Oh yeah, that takes a long time. I don't pack for a trip until, like, the day before I leave. I don't <clears> either. <throat> and tomorrow is the day before I leave. That's... Yeah. No, it's like a procrastination thing, I think. Well, it's also just, I don't need to pack much. I'm going away for four days. Two of them are traveling. So just... Yeah, what do a you couple need? Of shirts. Like, one shirt. Like, one Two shirt. No, not one shirt. I'm gonna be walking around a lot. You'll get You're dirty. a cartoon get, like, character. You like... only need one shirt. One pair of pants. For fuck's like sake, I'm not actually a cartoon character, you furry roleplay enthusiast. What? Yeah. It's you. Shit. He's been lying to us all. We had this conversation last night. <laughs> Pup, is, Pup is slobbering for Rouge. Yes. Yep. That's what was happening. I'm sure we'll play as Rouge again soon. Don't worry. I have to be on my best behavior around Rouge. Or else she will not, uh, you know, do that thing I like. Sex. If we, if we go... <laughs> <laughs> if we go back to that hypothetical where she is the, the only Sonic character to exist in real life. Lucky how me. She, how did she get here? What happened? A portal. A portal? For, does that, but that implies there are more, like, people or whatever from, from where she yeah, goes. Yeah, but they're not here now. yet. They're not? <laughs> okay. Alright, so this is like a movie Sonic AU almost, where she shows up except, first. Yeah, except she's still, like, she's not like a movie Sonic character where she's covered in fur and shit. She's still, you know, smooth. <laughs> Um, y you know so... rats have fur, right? Yeah, but like quite a bit of the draw of Rouge is that she's virtually human from the neck down. I like. Okay. Aside from the tail, <laughs> but like the tail could be used for leverage. Um, either way, um, like yeah. So the story goes, she comes to a portal to Earth. Um, to meet Channel Pump. And... She, she's she's out and about, she's seeing humans and stuff, and she's like, oh, we got those where I'm from, but these ones are a bit, a bit different. And then she sees me. And she's like, hey, handsome. I'm like, oh, no one's called me handsome before. Hey. <laughs> and, and then she decides she's going to stay in this dimension because that's where her one true love is, you know? She's always been like, oh, I don't really do, I don't really do love handsome. And it's like, yeah, but, like, come on. <laughs> and then, like, you know, she... <laughs> She decides, yeah, you so know what, is... yeah. <laughs> Alright, so it's a love story. It's like... It... Well, yeah, it's what really else would it be? I don't know. It's really wholesome. Okay. I'm like, hey, you, you want to go for, I don't know, cocktails or something, you know? She's like a cocktail kind of girl, you know? Um... Wait, what the fuck? I couldn't jump. Uh, someone said... Sorry, uh, Nova Blaster said... Remember in Sonic X, the Chaos Emeralds transported everyone to the real world? That's what happened. That could be it. That could be true. Yeah, you know what? They did transport everybody. Everyone's here. But... Alright, so... Th okay, so in that case, I think... They wouldn't be dissected. Because then it's like, oh shit, okay. They're just like... They're they're we got a lot travelers. of people work through, you know? Like, we, got, we got a lot of them to look at. Um, and Sonic's saving the world and shit. So, like, obviously people wouldn't be like, yeah, dissect that guy. Actually, you know what? In real life, they probably still would want to. Well, I'd be like, look... You could do Especially the autopsy, but keep... You could do the autopsy, but... You keep a clothes on because some things are sacred in this relationship, you know? Like, so you're call okay me old An autopsy is a is, it's an examination on a dead body. No, it doesn't have to be. I'm pretty sure that's what an autopsy is. I think that's like a, like specifically a dead body thing. Well, I think you're being very pessimistic right now. I'm being very like dictionary-ish right now. That's just <laughs> pessimism, about maybe. The idea. Of the idea that's like, oh, we have to kill her. Like, Dylan, just stop, right? right? I'm not I'm not saying I would do it. I, I'm not going to... What kind of weird dead body bed. fetish do you have, you I, creep? I'm just... I'm saying that that is what an autopsy is. That's how it works. I 
think. Does anyone know that off the top of their head? Is an autopsy, that's like, a, you have to be dead. Okay, 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 fine, fine. It's a biopsy then. It's a biopsy. Okay, yeah, biopsy. That, that's different. That's like they take a little piece of you and they test it. Well, I don't want them to take a piece of her. It's all mine. No, it's like cells. They take like a little like tissue sample and that's it. No. I bet... <laughs> Dude, what if she was dying of a mysterious illness? You wouldn't let them biopsy her? Well, yeah, if, if... That's a big if though, isn't it, Dylan? Like... What do you mean? You would never know if they don't biopsy. Well, she's not ill right now, you is don't she? Know that. So, like, what if she what gets I mean? here to, to the United States of America or the UK or whatever, and she's never been exposed to COVID-19? Well, good so thing she... I don't have COVID-19 then, isn't it? It's <laughs> a good point. I got that, that is what it hinges on. I'm the only person she's kissed, so yeah. Rouge believes in B-theory. I'm sure she would probably prove B-theory correct. She would. She, she'd go on an expedition. For me. <laughs> her love. She would see bees be, and be like, oh, I remember these. It'd be like a gift for me, you know? It would be like, there, my love. It's all been proven right. <laughs> bees are now, real. Now come back to bed and make me your little toy, daddy. <laughs> There's absolutely no way that people wouldn't want to tear them apart and see how they function. That's what I'm saying. In the real world, just the way the government yeah, well, works. If an alien this is showed my up, world Superman now. showed I, up. I run this place. They'd be Who killing runs Superman world? if he showed up. They'd, they'd dissect Who Batman run... if they could. He doesn't even have powers. Who run the world? <clears throat> Pup. I'm Pup. I, I win. He's almost done. Sonic is almost done. Sonic? This game is almost done, yeah. I, I think we only we only have a couple more levels. I think we have to revisit some stages to to get a couple extra dream orbs, but then uh, the final boss... So what we've learned world. is it takes about as long to beat Sonic Dream Team as it does to paint a small Sonic model. I thought you going to say to beat Sonic Forces, except I'm having like a million more times fun playing this. I think this is longer than Forces. Uh, so far it's been 2 hours and 26 minutes, so I think Forces would really be wrapping up at this point. Well, yeah, forces you can still like if again if you skip cutscenes, you can beat it in under two hours. I think this is easily gonna be another like half hour at least. If I had to guess. Oh god, it just flows so well. The gameplay's so good in this. And there we go. Game Apologist just updated a new video. Let's go! Is that one you edited? What big code? What's the code? I don't know. That's what they're saying. Chip's saying in the chat. Chip, what's it code? All right. Oh shit! If it's a Mecha March Madness and it's about the prototypes from Sonic Superstars, then yes, I edited that. Huh. Oh, that's right, you were talking about that. He cannot edit his own videos on the account of being a hack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> on the account of, I don't feel like it. Dude, I, I loved that when I, I used to have my friend edit. That was so much fun, because there were, there were times where my buddy would edit my videos, and I would pay him, obviously. And he would come up with little, like, visual jokes that I would never have thought of. And some of those, like, my favorite moments that. in some of those videos are really, like, some of my favorites. You do that as well? That's, yeah, that's so what you're saying is, is this friend of anymore anyways, so I can now do it, yeah? Cool. All right. I don't um, want to pay so you to about, do it, though, pup. I don't have the money to do that. It's about 100 bucks per 15 minutes, which is a good deal, I believe. <laughs> Okay, 15 minutes of the video or 15 minutes of your time? No, if the video is 15 minutes long, it will cost 100 bucks. Okay. Depending on the complexity of it, but generally... Okay, I'm gonna keep that in mind for real, but like, for now, I, I'm just doing it myself because they're all short. So it is a good deal, yeah? You agree? I mean, that's not the worst deal I've ever heard. I've seen, is... like, some people on Twitter and stuff charging, like, ridiculous money. Yeah, why would you want that shit when you could have primo standard pup editing, you know? 
Jeb is doing freelance <laughs> editing as he promoted on Sunset City. And oh, that's true. I'm sure yeah, he's... he did say that. I'm sure, I'm sure he's excellent, but no, go for me. Give me the money. <clears throat> do it. Do it immediately. Chip said it's something to do with the robots and superstars, so I think that is the video. That's you it. Edited. That's mine. I did that. I edited Every that. Every Metal Insanity Superstars is the same robot. Sure. The amount of Eggman junk is getting overwhelming. This is the dreamscape the doctor wishes Dude, to Dude, you know what? I just realized this game actually has more of a story than Sonic Generations does. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? <laughs> and like at first they're only sitting in one location talking, but they're actually in one of the levels here. Which matches the amount of times out. they did that in Generations. They, they talk in Chemical Plant one time. It's written by Ian Flynn as well. This game? Yeah. There's no references to any older stuff in this one, I believe. Aside from Giant Enemy Crab, but that's not even Sonic. This is written really well. Uh, do I like FPS games? Not really. But uh, let me know what the game is anyway. Because I, I have like enjoyed an FPS game here and there. I just don't His like them as well. And he's 13 years old. Why am I talking to this little man? <laughs> I would not want to be 13 years old. I've never been 13 years old. I was born 25. That sounds really upsetting. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't have to do any of that stupid shit, you know? No puberty, no nothing. That's why I'm only 5'6". Oh, wow, wow. Get a load of Mr. 5-6. Only 5-6? Wow. Listen. You're Fuck. so short, Dylan. Fuck, Why are you you're, so... you're, like, seven feet tall. Doesn't mean you can say that. Why are you so short, Dylan? I don't know. I think it's because my growth was stunted. Wow. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh no! What? No! <laughs> what the? No! No! Actually, yes. But no. I don't know what what is happening. What happened? Did you just step on a Lego? No. So his eyes are stickers. Oh. Okay. And I, I stuck one on. I thought you were reacting to my statement. It, <laughs> my growth being stunted. So... I was like, what? Fuck. Very wrong. It is incorrect. I have put this on very, very incorrectly. Oh no. That's <laughs> dude for the I, I mentioned I was making I was putting together those Mega Man model kits. For some reason I threw out the stickers for the one I just finished. So now my dude just doesn't have eyes. Which is very upsetting to me. Like I don't know how I did that, because I I typically wouldn't throw something like that out all willy-nilly. Maybe I can save this. I might have saved it. Where do they want me to go here? It's not quite right, nope, but not it's... down there. It's not bad. We're, we're making strides. <laughs> I'm gonna pay $1,000 every minute. I've got Yeah, that'd be a bad over. editing choice. That, that's like a Hollywood editor. <laughs> a thousand... I've got paint all over my thingies. I almost said a thousand coins per hour. With Mario having people edit it for his TikTok channel. Where do I fucking go? Do I have to switch? Am I gotta switch fellas? Oh yeah, okay. I remember this now. Oh no! It's happened again! Wait, I can make it right. I can fix him. We have technology. Ian Flynn to Sonic. <laughs> I can fix him. You know what? That's not awful. He's not wrong. No, hold on. Hold on. I might have done this. Oh. oh, okay. If I could just adjust the other one now. Pop is painting a Sonic figure. He got like a paint the Sonic figure, so he's painting Sonic. Paint the been Sonic. Sh showing periodic updates. Well, the uh, next one is going to be a big, big It's update. been a catastrophic moment where stickers have been incorrectly placed. It's going to be a big change next. Big one. A big boy. Oh, sure, yeah. No problem, Keo. Just let me know. 
it's, it's so cool they do like the Sonic Colors Eggman announcements in this level. Like, they really were like, hey, we like Sonic the Hedgehog a lot, and we're gonna make a really good Sonic game. And then Sega was like, okay, you don't have a job anymore. I like Thanks. it when people that like Sonic games. Yeah. It's pretty cool. They should get that more often. They should not be fired. <laughs> or laid off, whatever you want to call it. I think that's the bullshit term. It makes it sound less bad. Yeah, it makes it, oh, they got laid. Oh, oh they got laid cool. off. <laughs> nice, bro. <clears throat> All right, so look, it ain't pretty. It ain't pretty, but I did it. <laughs> All right, send it to the chat, and I'll I'll put it on stream in a second. Sure. Is is this the finishing touch? Is he done? For now, <laughs> unless I decide to do more. That was weird. Why that happen? There he is. Physics be damned. There he is. He's done. You've never played Halo before. You've also been experiencing Halo for the first time. I've played a few of the Halo games. I've played uh, mainly three. In actually, I played the whole campaign of three because I have my, my friends really enjoy playing it. Yeah, three is the one I've played the whole way through as well. Uh, I don't remember if I finished the Reach campaign, but uh, I liked the multiplayer of that one a lot. The Forge mode was really cool. But that, that was kind of what I liked the most. I just liked Forge. I gotta love how you, when you beat the level with Tails, he just stares into the void. He's doing like a scientific examination, like... Hmm. What is this purple portal? Right, now you must show them. Me? Now you must show uh, the yes. Sonic. Oh, wow, look at him. It's looks bad. Like, you could say it's bad. No, it's, it looks like he he was like purchased like that. Like he's, he's a real Sonic. No, he does not. <laughs> what do you mean? With the it's camera quality, he just looks like a Sonic figure. You're trying to you're trying to make me feel better. Look, I mean, aside from the blue arms, which people are not going to agree with, it, like he just looks Shut like up. he could have bought them. Shut up! Them. They're good. Blue arm better. Got up. It looks fine. Looks good in the, in the figure. There was a tiny little paint and spoot. On his uh, little snoot, so I'm just fixing that up, and then well, I he went looks too like he's far. got texture and everything. Look on his head, look, it looks good. I think I went a little too far with that, but you know what? It's you went a little fine. too far when you gave him blue arms. I have to show my roommate now, so I'll be right back. No problem. <laughs> We're proud of you, dude. Good job. Thank you. All right, is he gone? All right. I am proud. That was very good. I bet you thought I was gonna say something mean. You thought I was gonna say like, "Wow, now that he's gone, I can say whatever I want." I would no. I don't. I don't do that. I don't talk behind people's backs. In fact, I'm very upset that you would think I would. What the fuck happened? What was that? All momentum was just halted for a moment. I don't know what happened there. Maybe a, maybe a flying character would be better for this. I think I need to switch to, like, Tails or Cream or something. Also, actually, hold on. I need to show you something. There's this thing that you can do. If you don't touch any buttons, you can just press the boost button and the character fucking explodes. It wastes all your boost energy. <laughs> I don't think it does anything. I, don't, I should find an enemy, though. Hold on. You know, that's a really large buzz bomber also. I never really noticed, but yeah, no, it doesn't do anything. Ice cream truck outside? You better go see if they have any ice cream, man. Can't pass that up. Could you also take the rest of our orders since you brought up the ice cream truck? I think it's only fair. Oh, I think it's down here again? Yeah. I like this level a lot. I, I think this Crystal Collection minigame is actually pretty good. 
Right, look, I overheard you saying awful things about me after I left. Do you have wireless headphones? No, I'm not a girl, but... Okay, I, I actually from... did the I did the opposite. I did not say anything bad. You can ask Chet. Did you say anything? No. Did you say anything nice? <laughs> I said I was proud, just like I did while you were here. I said now that he's not. gone, you I can didn't say this. Say that. You never, you never say you're proud of me. <laughs> Chat, Chat can corroborate. That's so said, out of character. It was good. He did a good work. You never approve of my things, just because you're older <laughs> than me. What, by like a year? Right? <laughs> Didn't we determine this already? No, no, like a I month? Are, aren't I like a month. month older or something? Like a, a month, one month, one paltry month. Yeah. On the podcast, I, I just assumed like you were so like three much. years younger than me for some reason. You're always talking down to me about how my generation don't get it, and it's like, dude, dude come on. Well, you don't. Your generation doesn't get it. Look, man, I don't understand I'm not anything. Own a home. Get, get it, get it in your head. I reach this up here. I'm gonna walk my climb. Feet. Oh, I gotta climb. Okay. As an honest man, I can say Garrelis said good things. He said he was proud, and I have the clip to prove it. <laughs> he would never say that. Oh shit, he's got the clip though, dude. Send it directly to Channel Pup's home address in the UK. I'll be right back. Don't dox my country. Sorry. Uh, I'm sure they never would have noticed. They wouldn't. All right, let's see. Oh, I gotta go this way. Okay. <laughs> Don't brush your teeth. You can't accuse someone of not brushing their teeth. His little avatar doesn't even have teeth. Because they all fell out. <laughs> Alright. Oh god, okay, so I'm learning that this game is definitely a game you can play in one sitting, but sometimes for me that is not the best choice. <laughs> like, I'm getting like a little fatigued. Hold on, let me check these DMs real quick. Oh, the Half-Life series. I, I, I've i dabbled with Half-Life before. I uh, actually know the entire story of Half-Life, because that was something that interested me. I, I played a bit of Gmod in the past. And I, I, I've played Half-Life 1, because uh, I'll tell you the story about it. I played Half-Life 1 originally. I didn't finish it. I played it originally because there was a series on YouTube, I think? It was either YouTube or another website, sort of like it, maybe. I, I can't tell you what it was, I don't remember. But uh, called Freeman's Mind, where uh, a guy just basically... It was a, like a Machinima series, where he... I, I don't think it was made by Machinima, though? It's just like what you would call a video game machinima series, where a guy talks over the footage and he's pretending that he's Gordon Freeman. And when I was a kid, I thought it was the funniest shit in the world. And I think that might have been one of the first times where I watched, like, a series about a video game and I went, that looks fun, and then I played the game and I didn't, like... Back then, I really did not enjoy playing it because I just was not into FPS games at all. I have tried to play it again, and I do own... The remake Black Mesa, I believe. And I have played VR Half-Life. There, there's like a VR mod for it that I wanted to try, but it, it was kind of rough the last time I played it, so I didn't finish it. So I've never finished the game, but I have seen the whole thing, and I do know the story of the first game and some of the second game. And since it's connected to Portal, which I did play, uh, it was also another reason I wanted to know more about Half-Life. And then, <laughs> more recently, there was the Half-Life VR AI series. And when I say AI series, I don't mean there was, like, AI involved. There's a series where these friends were playing... Well, one of them was playing VR Half-Life. And the others Dylan. were playing... I think it was all in Gmod. Hold on, I'm telling a story. Dylan, and, uh, I have teeth. I know. <laughs> My mascot has teeth. Oh, you wait. You can see them. Oh, shit, you're right, he does. And they're clean. Yeah, no, okay, no, you definitely has teeth. I take that back from earlier. But that, Also, uh... I've done some minor touch-ups to him. You oh, yeah. have to show the stream. Okay. Dylan, you have to show the stream. Dylan, okay, send the picture. you have to show the stream. 
Dylan, okay. you, you have haven't sent to the picture. show the stream. I'm starting the next Dylan, level. You have to show the stream. You were too slow. Dylan, you have to show the stream. You gotta wait Dylan. now. You gotta wait. I started the level. What, what were you telling them? Uh, I was just telling them about uh, Keo Cartoons and sent me a thing about that FPS game they were mentioning. They were talking about Half-Life, so I was just telling them about some Half-Life things that I've experienced before. And, uh, yeah, there's a lot of good Half-Life content out there. But like I was saying, Half-Life, it's called Half-Life VR, but the AI is self-aware. And it's not real AI. But that's the joke. That It's like the, the other people in the call are playing these characters, and the, it, it's such a fucking funny series. Like, it, it's something I watch at least once a year. And the, it's made by Wayne Radio TV and a bunch of his buddies. Uh, that shit's so fucking funny if you haven't seen it. I also recommend the streams. They all, I think most of them stream on Twitch and stuff as well. And they're all just like the funniest people. <clears throat> you are cool, but I think you are gay. <laughs> the, I don't think those two things are mutually exclusive. Well, I disagree. Bam. Oh. <laughs> Got him. Gmod Idiot Box is what introduced you to Gmod, uh, Gary's Mod and Half-Life as a whole. I don't know what Gmod Idiot Box is. I've seen a lot of, like, Gary's Mod Oh, dude, Mod I am a Gmod though. Idiot Box. I think I've seen, um... Has anyone ever seen Half-Life Full Life Consequences? <laughs> that was a very old series. It's like a, a Gmod animated thing out of, like, a... I, I think it was a poorly translated Half-Life fanfiction. <laughs> And that was another one of those things where I was like, this is the funniest shit I've ever seen. So, right. I mentioned that I'm going on a little vacay, and me and my sister are going to the Port of Ventura theme park, right? Mm -hmm. And she's all like, have you packed your bags? I'm like, yes, no, not exactly. yet. I'm like, no, not yet. There's not much to pack. And she's like, man, you are really fun to get hyped up with in the run-up, aren't you? I'm like, bitch, <laughs> I'm doing something important. I was painting a little Sonic, right? Leave me alone. <laughs> Hold on, You're okay, now I can show the update. Person. Right, show them. Show them the paint job. Yep, okay, so this is the, the finished, updated Sonic that Pop has finished painting. Sonic on his little McDonald's egg McMuffin egg. <laughs> oh. That's making me hungry, honestly. It is done. Not Son Sonic's not people... making me hungry. The fact that you mentioned the Egg McMuffin, those are really good. Do the people like it? Do the people enjoy it? Distorted Chick says, looks sick. Chick, you say? I like it. <laughs> Don't start. Uh, let's see. I think I need to... I guess we get some Dream Warps here. Oh my god, look at all these missions! Look at all these missions! Yay, people are being kind to me in the chat. This makes me happy. <laughs> yeah. This is good. This is good. See, Pup can now go on his vacation happy. I no longer have to hate your fans. Oh, shit. That's a character arc. There was a character arc. Wait, oh, what are we doing back here? Uh, I need more orbs. Ah, uh, you know what I want to do. I want to put a little blue stripe between his eyes so he's got separate eyes. <laughs> you are going to... People are going to take back their compliment, dude. But I could, couldn't I? I have that power. That's power I have. It is your Sonic. You can do whatever you please. I could... I could make him entirely flesh tone. Balding Sonic. <laughs> He's getting old, guys. That does, oh, it my did look a little responded. movie Sonic-esque. I, I think, like, the... Just, like, the, the face and stuff did already kind of look a little movie Sonic-ish. What did you talk about, sorry? Your Sonic that you painted. He, he already got the model sort of reminds me of movie Sonic a little bit. He's got thick arms. Like Yeah. And little hands. His hands aren't ridiculously huge either. Ah. You don't mind the idea of separating his eyes. I that's one thing I I don't know if I care about. Like I, I don't care about a lot of the Sonic design debate, to be honest. Like I uh Truthfully, I care more about how the game plays than anything else, which I, I think most people would agree with, but, like, I don't know. 
I think movie I'm fine with fine. the design we have, so long as they rig and animate him well, which is yeah, what they've I... done in Dream Team, but they haven't done in a lot of the mainline games. Like, I think so Dream Team. In this game. Look at him. Like, he looks great. Yeah, Dream Team makes a really good case for keeping the same design, and I'm fine if they want to keep that and if they want to animate it like that. Um, personally, my preferences are I. Because not all of the characters have a singular eye, I like the idea that he also has two eyes. The idea. Yeah. And I shut the fuck. Just I hate you. Uh, then there's also the fact that I think Movie Sonic makes it look so good that I'm like, okay, all right. At the yeah, same like, time, I respect I the Mono Eye, and I also kind of appreciate that they've kept it consistent among the Hogs. Like you know, Sonic, Silver, and Shadow have one. Amy, Amy has one. Actually, did did they take that away from Amy in Boom? No. Be sure. Yeah. I feel like I remember for some reason her not having the mono eye in Boom, but I. I nah, no, no, no. She, she, she did have the mono eye. Yeah, no. I if it's something like that, you know, where it's like, hey, we have a consistency thing where hedgehogs have this, but other characters don't. Okay, but hey, in Sonic Forces, that's not an option for the Hedgehog custom character. They also, <laughs> what, um... What the fuck were they trying to For some reason on, say? like, the promo art of Boom Amy, they gave her, like, bedroom eyes. I'm like, what are you doing? What's going on here? Oh, the, I remember the, the, the designs that they released originally, I remember that, yeah. yeah is this because you don't got a rouge? You kind of made Amy this way? What's going on here? What's going the, in on? In the games, you... that's just not true. In the, the game, the she show. looks like a fucking Muppet. She does. I think in the show, she looks a lot like a Muppet as well. I think in the show, she looks fine. I'm just gonna grab all the rest of these orbs, because they're easy. Short Spine Sonic is overhated. Is that like Dark Spine Sonic? No, Short Spine Sonic is Frontiers Forces Lost World. Modern I Sonic. I'm just fucking around. Shut up. <laughs> but... I, I, so, here's the thing. I didn't like Sonic's model in Forces... Not because of the quills, though. It was because he was a lighter shade of blue, and I didn't like it. He looked in, pale. In forces? Yeah. And I also oh, just yeah, didn't see did the look, sense he, in... He looked, like, sick a little bit. Or I didn't like see he... the sense in making modern look a bit more like classic when they're both in the game. And classic already sort of... I, okay, I gotta be yeah. honest. I don't like the way classic Sonic looks in, in forces. I mean, he looks fucking atrocious. <laughs> yeah, but, like, like, he plays worse than he's ever gym. played, and he looks worse than he's ever looked. It, it's like and embarrassing. He looks the same as he does in Generations, though. I don't agree. I, I think in Hedgehog Engine 2, he looks really gross. I, I mean, think it's like to what you're fair, saying like, about modern Sonic, lighting, except it goes double for classic. I think he looks like shit in that game. The lighting in Sonic Forces was very pale. Like, everything looked very pale yeah. and very flat. It looked like there was a weird, like, filter over everything. There was no, like, rich color tone or anything. Everything was very pale. Um, I mean, I'd still go on a limb and say that I think Forces is the better looking game than Frontiers, but, like, it's for different reasons. I think Forces looks more consistent than Frontiers, but I, I like how Frontiers looks in more areas. There's never a point where Sonic is glowing like a glow stick in Forces, and that's something I appreciate. And that shouldn't yeah. be. That should just be the norm. You know, it's funny that that's happened in a couple games. Like, Colors Ultimate, like... Yeah, no, that, I, I made a little post, like, choose your glow stick. Oh, yeah. imagine if Knuckles could oh. just climb on any surface. Wouldn't that be nice? That would be pretty useful in that circumstance, yeah. In most circumstances, I would say. But, you know, I also um, don't blame them for limiting it, because they did that in Frontiers, and I assume they were taking after that. I don't think they should have done. <laughs> like, I, I do not see any way in which making knuckles able to climb anything ruins anything like in, the, what in this even game going, in like... stages like this i don't think it would ruin anything it, it just in stages like uh like mindfuck maze whatever that level's called is uh i feel like that, that one might have actually broken some of the level design because you know you could just skip I... a bunch of shit god that glide sucks um that was really bad yeah so something I'll uh, say, like, because I, I mentioned that I, I was won over by the art design of Dream Team. Uh, Nightmare Maze still looks way too much like a level from Super Mario Odyssey. I think that level looks like... That, that level looks like a thing from, uh, like, Lost World to me. Or, like, Galaxy. It, looks, it reminds me of that <clears throat> level in Odyssey where you play as, like, the Onions. 
And it's got that music that goes like do 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 oh, do. Steam Garden, uh, young it. Oh, yeah, the, that one. The uproots. Okay, I don't know. I know. Do, 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 like do, little do, cabbage do. guys. Yeah, little cabbage fucks. I I sort of see what you mean, but it's kind of missing like all like the red, like mechanical structures. I honestly think that that level from from Odyssey looks a bit like Planet Wisp. Like now they have the same it, kind yeah. of deal. Like, like green planet surrounded not planet but green area surrounded by um like red girders and shit but that also could be like a donkey kong throwback because they do kind of reference donkey kong a lot so you're saying that sega and nintendo are both hacks in equal measures oh yeah yeah totally no you definitely shouldn't nintendo are not hacks no nintendo nintendo typically are not hacks but they're assholes but they're not hacks God, like the other day, the they just. The developers aren't assholes, though. Like, they showed off uh, the intro to Paper Mario: The Thousand Year Door, the remake for Switch. Garbage Holy game. Shit. I was like, I was like crying. I was like, this is so beautiful. Oh is that my bad? God. It was that bad. No, it was it was so beautiful that I was like, I was. Wait, why are they away. remaking Thousand Year Door? That game was terrible. Stop saying that. It was bad, dude. <laughs> Don't say that to me on my stream. I don't get how you can look me in the eye and be like, oh, the werehog's bad, but then say, like, Thousand Year Door is fine. I'm looking you in the eye right now. Don't say that. Thousand Year Door is objectively bad, dude. Like, I I played it, and I thought, this is so yeah, think, boringly okay. bad. This I is never one of those things Pop does, because he, he tries to... And he's anyone like that likes poking, it is just poking the bear. A, a, a silly, snobby person. I, uh... I kind of think that they should have remade the original, because I, I don't feel like Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door really needs a remake, but at the same time- Oh dude, they could gonna... remake it and make it good, like- I'm gonna- I'm gonna kick your ass. <laughs> dude, it's so bad, like, it's just- it's hard to quantify why this thing just really rubbed me up the wrong way, but I was like, god, that's really bad. Oh. I Hello, think tank engine media. Welcome. I just I hated it a lot and like Did you actually not like Paper Mario? Hated it. I don't believe you. I think you're bullshitting me. No, I thought it was really really bad. I don't I don't think you're telling me. It was me boring. It was the main problem. It was, it was fucking boring. I, I, the problem is I don't know when that you're being serious. I, I genuinely thought Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door was a boring game. God, these words. Is it possible to use them in a sentence like that? Well, I was wondering that when you were fucking slagging off the werehog. There's no way. There's no way he's telling the truth, chat. Chat, is this real? <laughs> Chat's all in on I it. Feel it might be one of those things as well where, like, just how openly adored the game is might have exacerbated things a little bit maybe i don't know that's fair no, that, it is, that's, like i fully absolutely fair. i fully respect the people that do love super mario paper mario and the thousand year door but it like, for me i just found it so dull so boring such a boring gameplay style do you, do you don't like do you not like rpgs i feel like i've never heard you talk well, about i mean RPGs. i enjoyed uh mario and the rabbits uh the sparks of hope Okay. I did not notice there's a Robotnik face on the right there. I, I didn't either. I, I've been looking at the game. Look at it. Dude, dude, <laughs> the just, rails you're not timed on this one. Just look to the fucking... Look, you see? Wait, see? When did that get there? Ew. Oh, God, he looks gross. <laughs> I mean, I did say it was lacking in Eggman imagery for an Eggman dream, so I'm quite pleased to see that maybe, done that, if that is th Maybe it's new? I don't know. I, maybe I it's been patched. It I don't know. But, um... No, yeah, I what was I saying about Thousand Year Door? Look, it's it, for everybody. look, I understand that, you know, it's probably a high quality release, but I found it bored me to tears, and that's the opposite of what I wanted in the game. If I were to okay. give advice to any game designer, it would be make the opposite of Super Mario, Paper Mario, and the Thousand Year Floor. Okay. Alright. Now, now, now I know you're fucking with me. <laughs> you can't, no, it, it could seriously, not have been I'm, that, I'm, I'm being, bad I'm being completely... I'm being completely serious. The exact opposite? That's like... Okay, and not, not the exact opposite, but like, make a game that's fun, you know? Like... Okay. Alright. I disagree entirely, but I, I can accept you. 
I mean, I can't say if I agree or not because I've never fucking played it, but like, at the end of the I day, I knew it! Like... I knew it! I knew it! <laughs> I fucking knew it! See what I, see what I mean? Like, the gaslighting's so fucking strong. That's why I'm like, well, if it's so strong, you know, I'm how did you sure know it? Yet. How can you what? say I knew it if the gaslighting was strong? <laughs> like, because I was like, when you said the exact opposite, I was like, before that, I was like, you know, I can accept your opinion. Okay, I can accept that you didn't like it. Then you said the exact opposite, and I was like, no, there's no fucking way he played that game. Yeah, that was the bit where he I did went not touch far. that for one minute. <laughs> right. Yeah, that no, I never one. played it. Um. Okay, uh, Kyo Cartoons asks, Hey, Garrulous and Pup, are you excited for the Epic Mickey remaster? Well, the thing is, I, I thought the Epic Mickey was objectively bad. Um, like, I okay. hated that game. Okay, yep. I actually God, did have problems with that game. The little butt, like, did you see that? That was... I, did... <laughs> I was thinking about Mickey Mouse, actually, but... Why uh... would you be thinking about Mickey Mouse when Rouge is just, like, moving little hips like that, you know? Just, like, I was, it, you know? I was yeah. responding to Kyo Cartoons, but I've actually heard recently that that's not going to be a remaster. It's actually, like, a from-the-ground-up remake. Which it makes good. me a, Make it good a little bit time. more excited. Because, uh, I, I do feel that for a platformer, it didn't feel super good sometimes, so I'm hoping that that is addressed. That's terrible. Just objectively terrible. And, uh, I don't know, I feel like they're probably not going to make any drastic changes, but the fact that the whole, like, they had the, use the paint and thinner to change your destiny and turn Mickey into a, you know, like, a hero, not, I mean, it wasn't as extreme as this, but, like, they were like, you know, be a hero or erase everything in your path, that kind of shit, but they didn't really go Yeah, when I saw Disney that, I was like, this to. is a dark hour for gaming, man, like, uh, Jesus. But, uh, I think the only thing that changes usually is the ending, because, like, it zooms in on all the bosses you fight, and it shows what state they're in, but I hope they do something with that, like, that mechanic, make it a little bit more important. Uh, and then if they remake the second game as well, I would say throw out literally everything they did in that game and start over from scratch. Don't, don't... I would say reimagine that game. I think that game was a fucking train wreck. Did I ever tell you about the time I hid Nick's ice cream? No. Did it melt? No. Um, so, alright. I get I get back from the store, and I've bought some, like, stuff he's requested, because he was feeling pretty ill at the time. Um, okay. This was when he had the gangrenous gallbladder and was in and out of hospital, but, um, oh. anywho. Um, so, I, I get back with these, like, little uh, ice pop thingies, which are meant to, you know, be quite soothing and stuff. Yes, and... I know. The idea. The, the, the idea. Sorry, I had a perfect yeah, yeah. moment. And I'm like... Okay, so I got him. You'll never guess where I fucking put them, though. And he's like, oh, pup, for fuck's sake, what now? You I was like, find them? <laughs> I was like, you you will never guess where I've hidden these things. And he's just looking around for a little bit. Like, uh, about 20 minutes or so. Before it's finally like, have you tried checking the freezer? <laughs> the freezer? <laughs> yeah, I told him I hid his little freezer. That's actually diabolical. <laughs> Guess where I've put them? And he's like, oh, they're in the fucking microwave, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I gotta tell you about uh, Godzilla Gate, speaking of microwaves, though. Godzilla Gate? I've actually been watching a yeah. lot of Godzilla movies lately. We're, we're trying to gear up for uh, watching the new one. <clears throat> I've never, I haven't actually seen a Godzilla movie, but. Um, so, because, like, obviously I live in the UK, you know, sometimes, you know, well, sometimes, like, overseas shipping on, like, eBay items can be a little extortionate and stuff like that. So, yeah. what what we did was, like, he wanted some Godzilla McDonald's toys. And so, he had them ordered to mine, so I would then bring them to his when I'd go visit. Okay. Um, that way, shave, save on shipping. Great. Okay, cool. Um, during that period of time, I was changing my dosage of sertraline, and I decided to take advantage of this. And I said to him, in a moment of scatterbrainness due to the change of thing and a moment of anxiety, I kind of microwaved your Godzilla toys, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I told him I microwaved them, and I was like, I'm real sorry. Um, listen, if you tell me the price of these, I will PayPal you the money. And to keep, keep, the, keep the illusion going a little bit, I actually did send him some money on PayPal. He's like, oh, they were like 2480, so I, I sent him like £2.40, basically. So it looks a bit like the right number. And in the little hidden message, it just says, we do a little trolling. I like that this hinges on the fact 
that he believed you when you said you microwaved his console twice. He, he, he said it, it, like, it took a minute, but he said that, like, my backup story for it kind of checked out. Like, <laughs> he's like, you know, the rationale behind it kind of made some sense. Like, even if it's not great, it, like, it What's made, the made rationale sense. rationale that you, you were upping your medication? Yeah, like... Because that's the thing, is, like, Sorry, there have man, been some sunsets I'm my medication getting... and I decided to microwave a bunch of plastic in my apartment. No, but there have been Sunset City episodes where I've, um, been changing dosage of medication and you can notice that I'm slightly more erratic or, You're like... Just unhinged. A bit more okay. manic, you know? Like, there, there, okay. there's, there's even a comment on one of the episodes, like, who the fuck gave Pup Sugar today? Um, <laughs> <laughs> right. It's like, yeah, that, that was... Awesome. That was a transitionary period. Like, God damn it! I I just love the idea of hey man, I microwaved your console toys. That prank so cost me like two pound forty as well. I just wanted to see what would happen to them. I wanted to see if Godzilla really was strong as he said he was. No, I was like in a fit of like rage kind of thing. <laughs> like... Rage. I think that makes it even better. God, I just I got a phone call and it was a spam bot instead of the person I, just... I wanted to talk to, so I fucking <laughs> I just microwaved put all these toys. Godzilla McDonald's toys in the fucking <laughs> microwave. <laughs> it's just that would like kill you too. Like the fumes would be killing you. You would have to like I think you'd have to leave the apartment if you did that. Now that you mention it, yeah, that wouldn't be a good idea, would it? I didn't think you would that. Be, I think you would actually be hurting people like that if you breathe in too much. That you'd probably die. Yeah, but Nick's a toilet brain, he wouldn't have thought of that, like... Th this is the man who was like, Oh, good idea when I suggested putting, like, sauce on his broccoli that he wasn't enjoying. Well, what sauce was it? It was like barbecue sauce. We were That's at, like, idea, the... Man. We were at, like, the Outback Steakhouse or something. And he was making sure to eat his green vegetables, he was making sure to eat his broccoli. But the way this man was eating it was like, you could see, like, pain in his face as he was just shoving huge amounts of broccoli in there to try and get it down as quick as possible. Well. I was like, he loves like, why the not, color green, like, though. I was like, why not put a little sauce on it? And he's like, oh, good idea, dude. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, what, how what's did wrong you with not, how did you not putting on things? But I was like, how did you not think of that? Oh, oh, it's a how did you not think of it? Uh, okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I guess it's not like you don't typically sauce broccoli unless it's like a cheese, maybe. You know, like I would one hundred percent. I will always, I will always put sauce on a broccoli. I do not enjoy broccoli, so I'll put sauce on it. Recently, Ketchup I was um, I, I've been getting pasta from this pizza place near my house, and they put broccoli in the pasta. And I used to always just order it without that, but then I was like, I should probably try to at least pretend I'm being healthy. Uh, so I've been eating the broccoli. It hasn't been that bad, because it's like, I don't like it when it's super tough. Like, when it's a lot, like, squishier, it's better. But, uh, yeah. when it's covered in, like, cheese and, not that it's coated in it, but, like, with the pasta, you know, there's enough, like, on it that it makes it better, you know? So it's like, oh, yeah. there's, like, a little bit of Alfredo on that, and it's like, oh, yeah, all right. I'm hearing you. Hey, you should tell your audience about your sinister subway order. <laughs> okay. All right, so this is something I don't think well, I, I can never this. truly entirely trust you. <laughs> like... <clears throat> no, that's I understand, but like this was a long time ago. Also, on Sunset City, we were talking about something once. Subway came up, so I mentioned a subway order that I had at one point. Uh, this was, oh, God, I, pr I was probably in middle school. I, I was probably a middle schooler when I did this, but I would go to Subway with my dad or whatever, and my old subway order was. I think it was it was tuna, pepperoni, onions, honey mustard, and it sounds weird. That sounds really weird. That's the single worst fucking thing I've ever it's, heard of in my it's entire very life. Very strange. No, I fully accept that that is a very weird combination. But I was just like, hey, they're asking me what I want on my sandwich. I'm gonna try this, and honest to God, it was good. It was a good combination. It tasted just good. tuna and pepperoni enough is. Not enough, you know. I don't know. It's like, like, I like pepperoni, it... and I, I do I do enjoy a tuna, but like tuna and pepperoni though. It, it's like making know? a spicy pepperoni. Like, uh, sorry, a spicy tuna almost, because the pepperoni added a little bit of spice to it, a little bit of a kick, you know. If that I were that subway that worker, to... I would think a fucking psychopath has just entered the building. <laughs> I was a child.
But when I went to, I kept going to that subway, and eventually they were like, you looking for the usual? And I'd be like, I'm looking for the usual, and they just make the sandwich for me. <laughs> Good God. And I was like, you get me. You guys get me. Frank gets it. Frank, Frank gets it. Frank, He's... You know, Frank is always, we've always had food discussions like this. This has been a big thing for a long time. Yo, know, Frank knows how it is. He's always been very upset about me not liking pineapple pizza. I miss Frank. How's it? Oh, come <clears throat> on, Frank. What the fuck? Look, pineapple pizza is not as bad as people make it out to be, but it's not good. I don't, no, I don't like it's a it. Good thing. It's not a good thing to put pineapple on the pizza. That's what I'm saying. I don't like it. It doesn't belong. There. I don't like it either. Like, as in, I I'll eat it, but like. If it someone ain't buys a good me a thing. pizza, I won't deny it, you know, but I'm not gonna do that, you know? Farewell, distorted chick. Oh, see you later. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you had a good time on the first stream you attended. I can't believe you get chicks in your live chat. What's your secret? See, that's really fun. <laughs> I have a chick story, and it's not what you think. Oh, okay. Alright, so when I was like... I think I must have been like four or five years old, and my dad. This is took not me... usually how chick stories start. I just want to let know. you know that. I'm saying it's not what you think. So my dad took me to this place. It's sort of like a tractor supply store, but I, I don't think it was tractor supply. And they had baby chickens at the store. So I would always be like, I want to go see these little chickens. And he's like, All right, you want to go see the chicks? Okay. And so he would take me to see them. And then in conversations, like, my dad would sometimes just say chicks, you know? Like, he'd be like, oh, well, you know, when you get older, that's what chicks like, you know? You, you know, this, whatever, whatever, whatever. And me being a tiny little child, I would go... I was like, wow, really? So, like, when we... <laughs> I'm just thinking he's talking about the chickens. So, I mean, like, thinking in my head, like, wow, chickens like it when you're funny? That's so cool. Wait, chicks like it when you're funny? I just think back on that. Why haven't I, I tried that? I fucking remember that, like, vividly, because I think that's one of the first memories I was able to form as, like, a four-year-old child. It's just so fucking funny to me. Dylan picking up chicks. Yeah, man. It was all I about am, it. like, I am a thousand times funnier and more charming when a friend of mine is trying to pick up a chick and I'm trying to I help him out. I thought you were going to say, than me, and I was about to be like, no. dude, dude, she came out so No, 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 no. No, so like, <laughs> no, so if I'm, if I'm talking to a chick that I want to pursue, I'm not as funny or charming as I am if I'm trying to help a brother out and wingman Cause him. Because you're nervous, right? You're nervous because you're you it's are. It's not just that. It's that I feel like you know, like, you're going from comic relief side character to main character. You know, you can't. Yeah, it, it's it's. You got to show them what your values are. You know, like. But, okay, so what you're saying is you're very good at describing the good characteristics of your friend, which I think is a very not even, admirable not, thing. Not even. It wasn't that so much. Like, so, so a buddy of mine was talking to this girl in VMs and stuff. And he, he was like, you know, oh, this is my friend to me. And I put on fucking Koozie's theme from Yakuza. So I did it, did it, did it, did it. And I just walked, I was like, you... Have to compete with me, I'm afraid. At the end of the day, he already has a friend. So... <laughs> and then... And then she was like, oh, this guy's really funny and stuff. And I was like, ah, so it's a comedy off your one, eh? You think you can out-funny me now, do you? While I had the Kooza theme still playing. Yeah, I can imagine and, you put um, out, like, a JoJo fucking, like... Dun, 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 hang on, I, I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it. Hello? Wait, I, maybe I can get maybe I could get the music up. Hang on, wait, 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 wait. I don't know if it will play through the thing, but like, no, no, no. Don't put on Slope's game room right now. I don't, I don't want to cause him trouble. All right, um, here we go. It's called Pledge of the Demon, and it's perfect confrontation. Pledge music. of the Demon. This is the music I said should play whenever we have a disagreement. Like, oh, that I don't, one. I don't know how we'll be out of here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> I'm just like. Ah, so you want to steal the man's heart now, do you? You think you can do better than I can, huh? I don't know how well you heard that, but like... I, I didn't hear a single note of the song through the... Speaker. Excellent, great. So that whole thing fell completely flat in front of all 58 of your viewers. I think that was... Th yeah, unfortunately. I, I feel like we I literally want to be though. dead now. I, I wish I was dead. That's unfortunate. Don't, don't think that. I know, Why I, I really do. Why do I hear boss music? Channel Pup walks up. 
<laughs> POV, you're hitting on Pup's friend. But but that's 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 <clears throat> like that's like the thing. It's like, why can't I be that funny around my own pursuits? You can't. I can't. I don't think I can. It's like I should I should be that funny on my YouTube channel. Imagine the money I could make. These are things you. It can was do actually also to... way funnier at the time. I must stress that. Like, I, it's still a funny story, but you can still do these things. It's just like you know, it's something you're not. Used no, it feels, to. it feels forced, man. It feels forced. It, it, it ain't. It ain't. You know, it ain't organic. You know, like. Look, let me tell you something. So, everything I think. Okay, so if you are doing something in one context and then you try to move it to something else where it's not it natural work. to you, it will feel forced because you're not practicing exactly. it. Exactly. You need to just you need to do it and just keep doing it and then it becomes less forced. That's called practice. And yeah, but you like, need like, the consent first, you know, and that's that that's the tricky part. Okay, I meant on like your YouTube channel. Like you you can be funny oh, on your right, YouTube okay, channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> That's what I was mainly going for. But you See, can that be funny was, that was a deliberate joke made to look accidental. Oh, okay. That's my thing, yeah. All right, that was good, because I thought that... Time's up, what are you talking about? There are oh. so many times when I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. All right, we're just going to play the final boss. I'm done. You sure you're up for this? Uh, the, you said, right, it's not a boss. It's not a fucking boss, but this is a sick finale. It's a very fun level, yeah. It's like the best level in the game. Oh my god, and they have... turned her into a fucking circle. And aside from the main theme by T. Lopes, it also has the best music track in the game. I think it was just a good idea. Too. I'm kind of surprised more it was really of the bosses awesome. weren't like this. The first time I played this, the music lined up so that as soon as Cream is like, I'm jumping into the battle, that's when the guitar riff started going. Da -da 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 -da. And I was like, Oh man, th that's sick. And I, I had it on my capture card, but it didn't capture the audio. And I was like, fuck, I'll never get that again, you know? That's too bad. Yeah, it's like... I saw... Someone made a video I saw on YouTube that was like, Giganto, but the music is synced to the battle. And I was oh, like, Oh yeah, I've seen that. <laughs> Have you ever seen like, um, the, uh, the end fight uh, from Final Horizon, but it's synced to the music? It's like, god damn it. This is some, this is some fucking Zack Snyder shit right here. <laughs> I think I've only seen the Giganto one, but I, I agree, it's fucking good. God, that close up on, oh shit, they're dead. That close up on Sonic there, where you can see his tan arms connected to his body, that made it look a lot like he's wearing a fucking sweatshirt, like a tan sweatshirt. Alright, so... here we go. <clears throat> Right, like, so, like, this level, for starters, this this level but empty was the first thing they showed of this game. They re really? released, like, the image before they released the trailer. And, um, this was before anyone knew it was an Apple exclusive as well, so we didn't know to be pissed off yet. But, um... I think this level looks fucking cool as hell. Like, th this is one of the yeah, new dude. environments that they should be trying to make in the main game. Also, it's worth noting, it is effectively an asset dump. There's a lot of just, you know, basic blocks and stuff, but it works yeah. because it's Whoa. like... I also love that crescent moon as well. That shit is awesome. I think it's a lot about the color palette and just the fact that this is like... They haven't been asset dumping for the whole game. This is like a celebration of what you've played already. You know, like, Yeah, but it's like, it take the... Good. Ooh. Take the Windows XP background with the grass and shit. Put it behind all those blocks. You got yourself new Ar Oh, look at her, though. Look at her. You got yourself new Aranos, and it's like, dude, I wish she'd hold me like she holds that orb, dude. Like, she looks so gentle with it, you know? Um, what was I saying? Forget it. It's tough but to like, remember. You, you kind of got caught up there in, like, the, the desire. Look at her, dude. Look at her. Like... Yeah, don't look sure at it too much though. Survivor. I don't want her to start oh. like I don't want her to start liking you more than me. That's the problem, you know. Like because she looked at me. Yeah, that's the thing is I feel like just she's gonna look at you and then she'll be like, "There's better people in this world." I was Holy the first shit, human she met. That's so sad. Don't say that. I was the first human she met, so she was like, "Well, this is surely the best one," and then she discovers other humans, including yourself. Is like, "Oh, they." They do get better. Okay. Okay. Well, I appreciate you saying that. That that, that means something to me. But also, goddamn, that's that's so sad. Uh, come on, she loves you, dude. It's okay. <laughs> Thank it's, it's you, like, Dylan. It's all about like the it's the emotion. She doesn't care about looks clearly, except for when it comes to jewelry and things. 
I love the fact that like an honest pep talk about Rouge the Bat. <laughs> I'm just also, saying, dude. This is ingenious. Actually, you know what? If she was this... real, she would have to, you would have to be buying her like so much jewelry. It'd be crazy. I... It'll be plastic. She won't tell the difference. She's from another dimension. But um. <laughs> Do they have plastic in Sonic? No. I'll just be like, this is super valuable where we're from. Trust me. But also, you'd base your relationship on lies. <laughs> she this wishes is... she were worth an actual diamond. Whoa. Okay. The truth <laughs> comes out. Holy shit. <laughs> Pup is a terrible boyfriend. This is like this is uh, exactly the opposite, like <laughs> to everything you've been saying already. No, look, 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 look. I'll, I'll, look listen, listen. I'll explain to her. Look, right? Look, I, I don't. I'm not made of money. All right. And she'd be like, I found something more important than jewels. I found your jewels. I want to play with them. And I'll be like, oh, Yes, yeah, you, you can enjoy my chode, you know. <laughs> Frank says, just go on a heist with her. No, no heist, no heist. Just go rob no Bex with the Rouge the Bat. I, I, I gotta show her the true value of, uh... <laughs> I'm just thinking about... Okay, wait, the oh, thing that immediately came erection. to mind, Pup, when you were saying that is... If you gave her, like, a plastic thing and she'd be like, What is this? This isn't a real jewel. You could be like, It lasts forever, just like our love. It isn't biodegradable, so it'll last. Just like our love. <laughs> oh, shit. Your turn, kid. Make Aryan proud. Go on, dude, this go is on, awesome. child. Go, go kill that but giant also, look, dream look demon. Look at the character animations. Look at, look at them. Look at them go. Cream dude. just jumped into the abyss. No, not that way, Cream. That's that's the the hell pit. No, she's trapped in hell. Oh. Take off your blouse and if... your underpants. I think if Cream got sent to hell, she would probably like reform it. Like Satan would be like, you know, I can't stay mad at you. You can, you can leave. It's okay. Give me one Why of is she called that though? Is Cream? vanilla a little bit kinky? Cream. Well, I thought we thought it was like the, like cream and cheese because it's like a pun. Cream cheese, right? Yeah, but she surely didn't name her hey, daughter based on what her me. pet would be called. Look at them animating! They're well, I mean, animating! Okay, They're we actually moving. don't know. Cheese... No, I agree that the animation is better, but cream, uh, Cheese might have been there first. Like, I mean, there are some families that have a dog before they have a kid. Look how good this is, though. Okay, now you're... Look at this! Now I'm actually curious, though. Do you think Cheese actually existed before Cream? And that's why Vanilla named her child that. So when Cream hits, like, her teen years, she's gonna have to deal with loss for the very first time, and... Alright, I know what I want to write for one of my next Sonic shorts. Are you gonna- you gonna write about Cheese's death? Yeah, Cream is gonna have to deal with loss for the very first time, Holy and like, shit. Sonic and friends will help her along the way. You know, actually, my, my friend Gino the Puppet, he uh, he's got a little Sonic AU comic thing he draws, where that's exactly what it is. I, I just now thought of that. He uh, yeah, well... Cream's- I don't know how Cheese dies, but Cheese is dead and she wears oh, Cheese's armband on her arm. And I was like, oh, sorry, that's like a really weird. So we're gonna thing. show the point where like, where Cheese gets like such bad dementia that his quality of life is just non-existent, so they have it to have him put like, down. He starts like pissing on the floor all the time and they're like, God damn it, Cheese. Oh no! When no, I... this happened to me one time, but not during the final bus. Oh, <laughs> oh no, they heard Cheese's fucking last moments and they shut the game off. Oh, that's... They're like, shut it down, he knows too much. <laughs> that's unfortunate. Okay. Um, do I do it again or do I not care? Do it, do it again, dude. It's a, it's a good level, man. Do it again. It is a good level. What time is it? 4.50? <clears throat> How long you got? I don't know. Let me, I just gotta check. I'm sure you have so many things to do. I'm watching Godzilla important. movies later. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta so really... important. Goon golly. Do you want to know the main reason, though, why I bought the Paint Your Own Sonic? Uh, why? I bought a second-hand Spider-Man action figure, but he had a bit of a schmutz on his eye. So I was like, ah, that's got white paint in it. I can use that to fix the schmutz on his eye. And so I did. <sighs> that's good. So it worked out in the end. Yeah, I got a little <clears throat> Sonic in the process, too. That's good. Net gains. Net gains, everybody. 
Oh shit, someone mentioned something about... Didn't Cream already deal with turning into a Zombot in the IDW comics? Well, we I get ignore it, alright? Because... Here's, here's the thing. Okay, for those of you who know, speeding ticket's a thing. For, the, for those of you who don't, speeding ticket's a thing. Um, so speeding ticket is a, is a short... That's his fan film that he's working on. A little knows. fan film I'm working on. But it doesn't take place in any pre-existing Sonic universe. And it's not making a point of that, by the way. It's not like this is a unique universe. It just doesn't, right? It's, it's got bits and pieces of continuity dead. that it's taken <laughs> on board. Him. So, like, what, what we're gonna what we're gonna do is like just have these. I, I want to do more than one. I would like to do more than one. But the whole point is like it's character centric. We're just gonna play around with Sonic as a character for this first one. And who's to say we couldn't do one that's about Cream dealing with death for the first time? I don't think that's what I want to do though. I've got other ideas. That's so sad. Right, this is an exclusive. This is an exclusive. I have not talked to anyone else about this. I like that your but, um, first one. Your first one's about Sonic getting a speeding ticket, and not understanding how it works, and the second one is about Cream's best friend and pet being. The first dead. one's about the funnies, you know. Like the first one's <laughs> got to be the funnies, and then you 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 kick them in the gut, you know. You'd be unpredictable. <laughs> um, no, okay. the the second one is the, the second one I'm thinking of right now. Is I want to have it so that like Tails learns to neutralize Metal Sonic, and he becomes a love interest for Amy. Interesting. Okay. And so Robotnik becomes kind of like a father figure towards Amy, that... and that's just very fun to play with. That almost sounds like it could be like a Boom episode. Like like Eggman invites like like he's got Amy at his house, and he's like having dinner, and it's like really awkward, and like so um, y you know like he doesn't know what to say because he's old and. Not uh, a good guy. Hates her. I also did like the idea though of like kind of doing the rom com thing where it's like Sonic has never reciprocated feelings, but yet he feels kind of jealous, and he's like, "What's this? What's this about?" It's also kind of like, "Hey, you're you're in love with like the the fake version of me." That's kind of strange, you know? Like... Yeah, but I want to do like a bit of a Blade Runner-y kind of thing, where it's like, just because he's got artificial personality doesn't mean he doesn't have a personality. Yeah, no, I mean, he's clearly a different character to Sonic. They have differences, but like, it's just funny because his name is fucking Metal Sonic. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it would be kind of funny. <laughs> you know? I also, I like I, even That's when cool. he's like nice and friendly, I don't want to make him look any different. I still want him to have red eyes and still look moody and shit, but like, he's, he's just a nice dude, you know? Yeah, no, I understand. Like, you, you don't want to change him, but you, you're changing him. No, but the other thing I like the idea of is that the first time Amy meets the reformed Metal Sonic, he's fishing with Big. He's fishing with Big the cat. <laughs> he's like, what? And Amy, like, what the fuck are you doing? Amy runs up to him like, oh, my darling Sonic. And he just pulls a pair of glasses out of nowhere and just gifts them to her. And she's like, wait a minute. You're not... And she like, starts hitting him with his hammer and stuff. And it's like, he's changed. You know? Ah, she's hitting on him. I get it. And I like the idea that Big is where everybody goes to blow off steam. <laughs> you know what's funny? When I was watching- okay, we mentioned this earlier, we had, uh, Jeb Zone on the- on the Sunset City podcast yesterday, we talked about his Sonic. Yeah, dude. I was there, idiot. And, uh, no, I was talking to the-, the, the I was there. watching right now. Yeah, and... I'm watching, yeah. I was there, dude. <laughs> but in his video, he mentioned a clip, uh, yet another little story thing I didn't know about. That apparently the Big the Cat it, that you meet in those fishing mini games is not really Big the Cat. Like it's just like a yeah, weird you know, cyber manifestation of him. Do you know what the uh, context of that is that Sage mentions? It's that isn't it? It's because like Sonic wanted to relax and he he just finds Big the Cat to be a relaxing. Sonic's presence. mind basically subconsciously willed him in as a source of comfort. That's so nice. And that Sage is basically like, well, you see him as a source of comfort, so that's why your mind brought him up. I, it's like, like, I like the idea of running like, with that. fucking never, ever been mentioned before and never will be again, but that's a very wholesome thing. I like the idea of running with that. Like, as Sonic is navigating this newfound feeling of sort of jealousy that he doesn't quite understand, he'd go to Big the Cat and fish with him for a bit. Wait, Metal Sonic or regular Sonic? Regular Sonic, because... Oh, so, they so the idea... Okay. <clears throat> is while regular Sonic has never reciprocated those feelings and stuff, he doesn't understand why he feels kind of jealous. Okay. Yeah, no, okay, I see what you're saying. This is a little bit untextured, huh? They probably could put a little texture on this. It's an arm, bro. 
I know, but my arm's got texture. No, it doesn't. You are prepubescent. Is this a fan <laughs> game? No, this is Sonic Dream Team. An official Apple Arcade Sonic it game. It looks better that than most good that ones. people think it's a fan game. <laughs> it looks so good. I think it's the animation quality. It, it animates so well that it seems like That's a fan thing, project. It looks like so much love was put into it, therefore it must be a fan game. Tails, Hello, Relampa oh, McQueen. Sure he's got his hands full. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Hopefully it doesn't crash again. Alright, we're good. All I'm saying is, though, right? imagine if you had a supersonic fight here. I, that'd be neat. I mean, like, they're in a dream world, so I feel like they couldn't. You know, they wouldn't have to justify it. And you'd beat it. the shit out of Robotnik. I would love to fist fight Robotnik as Sonic. I think that'd be funny. I yeah, also I definitely want to be about the fan project. I, I, th yeah, this is a, a real game that came out, like, a, several months ago, a long time ago now. And, I also uh, want to do something... Sorry, go on. on Apple devices. Apple Arcade, unfortunately. I want to do something for like a potential. I, I would like it to be a trilogy. I'd love to round it off with a shadow one. And what would that one be about? I have no fucking Arby's? idea. I kind of like the idea that maybe Infinite is in it to some capacity, and he's up to no good. Slam dunk it would... in there. I'd also want to have Silver in that's, it. So that's that not what I said, it. Blue Tima. That's not what I said. That was not the quote. But also, ah, you want to fist Robotnik? Would, <laughs> that, that's a good. Uh, I, I'll, I'll do that, pup. Not the fisting part, the uh, silver thing. You will fist Robotnik? No, I said not that part. <laughs> I said Imagine you, you were fist him and his about. gaping butthole opens. It's just like, you know. I'm gonna throw up. Oh god. <laughs> you all get to wake up. You all get to die of malnutrition. Dude, R.E.M. kind of a baddie, though, like... Yeah, that's pretty cool. We started the stream with that, and we end the stream with that. It's her voice, dude. It's the voice. <laughs> she should voice Rouge. I... I don't... They could do whatever they want. And listen, in the rare them. occasion, in the very unlikely circumstance that R.E.M.'s voice actor is watching, please don't be freaked out by this. Look, no foul play. I just really like your voice, all right? Can you imagine, like... Like people who join the Sonic team as like a like like a voice actor, then like people they just hear shit like that. Like, oh, oh, okay. So that's what I've got myself in. They don't see it. The designer of Rouge the Bat finally discovers what's become of their creation, and they're just like, well, I should have known. I should have seen that coming. That's on me. <laughs> Defeat the boss with just one ring in under 15, 15, 5, 15. How long did it take normally? Wait, look at the little icon of Eggman down there. His head rotates slightly when you move the, the mission. That's always done that, dude. Nah, that just happened now. It, it has. It's always done that, dude. Yeah, I don't think so. No, I'm not fucking around with you. I've got evidence. Oh, the pause button works again. Look at that. <laughs> Let's lose, let this go again. What this iDevice is, really is streaming? Cool. This is an Apple TV. This might be one of the best animations I've ever done. It's so cool. Also, I'm just saying, if the Knuckles prologue were the opening cutscene of Sonic Frontiers, the Sonic Unleashed opening cutscene might actually have some competition. I think this does compete with the Unleashed opening cutscene. <laughs> okay, I'm not, I'm, not even, I'm, not, I'm not counting this because it's not like a story thing, it's more like a... It's more like kind of the colors opening, because oh, otherwise okay. the colors so you, opening. Okay, I see what you mean. So you mean like a... Like the opening not story. intro cinematic, you mean like a story intro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, we haven't had a good story in Trojan Sonic in, like, forever. And we need one to finally compete with Unleashed. And all I'm saying is, if Knuckles Convergence was that for Frontiers, which it could have been, they might have had a chance. I'm sorry, I'm being fucking hypnotized by this. This is so cool. It's so beautiful. Oh like, powerhouse God. animation do not miss a beat. Like... Listen, I, I think the, the studio that did the animations for Sonic Superstars did a fair enough job, but my god, can you tell the difference? Because this is flawless. This is literally flawless. Like the colors and everything. Oh my god. Oh. It is literal perfection. Even like, that is perfect. 
That's flawless shit right there. Even That's a cat's this. anus. But... Even di <laughs> this cat. I think it would be so poetically funny and tragic at the same time if you developed a cat allergy. That was something I was really... Oh, careful. That was something I really worried about, because my dad's allergic to a lot of animals. My so sister like... has a very severe cat <laughs> allergy. Like, her throat legit legitimately, like, closes up if she's in, like, a home with cats and shit. Oh, no. I feel so blessed, because my sister is rife with, like, health complications and chronic stuff, and I am, like, pristine. Like... That's good. I have, like, I have, like, a lot of the health stuff in my family, but I don't have many allergies, which is interesting. I am but... also the only one of my family that has never required glasses, even though I'd like them because I think they look cool. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I think they look nice. I like glasses personally, but I didn't, like, want them when I got them, you know? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I suppose like, I could just wear blue light ones and be like, oh, the blue light. Um, just wear hipster glasses. Fuck up, they're blue light glasses, okay? If you see a picture of me wearing glasses, they are blue light glasses because I'm in front of screens a lot and I want to preserve my eyes. But, um... No, that's a good idea. Uh, you should do that. I'm also the only one of my family members to have green eyes while the others will have blue. You have green eyes? So, yeah. I have green eyes. You Ruined. Can... <laughs> you... Yeah. I almost said a very naughty word that begins with a C. <laughs> Out of pure habit. Show speed. I don't know what this means. Show speed toggle. But I guess that's uh... Thomas. You've never seen this. That's interesting. Yeah. No. This is a. Uh... This also runs on Apple phones that have Apple Arcade. So it it's very cool that this actually performs as well as it does. And you just you can use a controller, obviously, because you you're not gonna be playing it on this Shut fucking up, thing. Dylan. Dylan. Stop it. No one <laughs> came here to hear you yapping, dude. Like. But, uh, that's about it. Thomas, if you want to see the rest of the game, you can see I did the whole game in this stream. You can go back and watch the bot if you want. But uh, Dylan, no one came. I'm to trying hear to do you an outro. Yapping. No one came here to hear you yapping, Dylan. Just shut up, all right? You want a okay. good outro? Try just being quiet for a minute. God, no one came here to hear you yapping, I dude. Like Start just play the game. Just play the fucking game. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I didn't want to have a personality day anyway. Oh, I wasn't actually like like so like his like no, I didn't I think I anyone know. would ever. When people say that? Yeah, I've been getting comments like that for like the last nine years, like eight years. Even. What what are they doing? What are they thinking? Like what? Like especially on like Mania mod videos, right? I'd be like, hey, I'm gonna talk about this Mania mod because I I don't want to be a boring fucking dipshit, you know, and just try to put gameplay on it. So people would be like, just stop talking and play the game, man. And it's like, okay, sorry, you, just, well, you, know, want, you want no where I just... You want boring. Well, Okay. Hey, leave me be. So th there was a time when I wanted to just play Sonic One and thought, eh, I'll stream it live as well. The harm. And people are like, are you gonna talk or what? And I'm like, oh man, do I have to though? Yeah. That's I don't feel problem. very entertaining right now. <laughs> but anyway, that's just my personal hang-ups on that. But me, Frank, like a lot of people from back then would like get comments like that. Just stop. Just play the game. Stop talking. It's like, okay, go watch. Hey, it was a gun. I can't stream on my own. On my own, I'm very unentertaining. I... Sometimes I feel like that. It depends on what I'm playing. Like, if there's enough, like, material to react to in the game, then I feel like I do okay. But this yeah, game, just, I feel I'm like it's gonna be very mindless. Person. Like, if I try and make a reactive... a reaction <laughs> video, I'm like, huh. Yeah, that's why I I'm don't do that, I'm forcing myself really. to say things like, whoa. Although... I, I... Although... <clears throat> I was with my roommate when they announced Sonic X Shadow Generations, and yes, we squealed and stuff, but that's because I'm with a friend, you know? I've got that energy source, you know? Yeah, no, I think with friends it's different, but like, on my own, like, I've heard so many people be like, could you react to, like, Sonic Colors Rise of the Wisps? And I'd be like, no. <laughs> you know, like, I don't want to... Like, I think I reacted to Mania Adventures way back then, and I, I don't feel like there was very much reaction. I feel like I was just like, haha. That's funny, you know, like laughing. That's so quite often. humorous. I did enjoy. <laughs> wow, humor look at that! It's Metal Sonic. Being... I like that character. He you is know? quite fun. Sonic is quite good. Sonic is cool. Frank says Sonic Mania gameplay expert here. Just show the mod, dude. <laughs> Just shut dude, up and show the mod. Dylan, Just shut up, Dylan. Sugar the Angel Clown, Angle Clown says, "I like it when you speak. I think you got yourself a, a, a gorily head." That enjoys you. What are you? Why are you rushing us? You don't want any baddies, Dylan? Like. <laughs> what? No, I'm good. I'm also, uh, I appreciate that though. 
I appreciate that people come to the streams and videos and stuff and actually like what I have to add. Because I do, you know, like we have seen over the years, there are a lot of channels that just put up gameplay and they do really well. You know? Like, it has crossed my mind. Like, oh, geez, maybe I should just do that. And just have, like, no personality. I'm sorry, Dylan. Your ex-wife. I was the other guy all along. All right, chat. Excuse me for a moment. Someone had to lay right, pipe down, can't... dude. I'm oh, still shit. in front of the thing. I'm still in front of it. Like, <laughs> I'm still I, here. I, for I grab Channel Pop with the hook, like, from the cartoons and rip him behind the curtain. You son of a bitch! How dare you! And they here still? No, yeah, they can still hear us. That was just a joke. Oh no! Wait, put 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 the curtain da back down. Put the curtain down again. Ah! <laughs> ah! Stop it, Dylan! Stop hitting me! They can hear the soundboard, right? Yeah, I, I think so. Okay. I hope so. I mean, they can hear me punching oh, in the face. Oh, Dylan! <laughs> all right, that's all. <laughs> Yeah, Frank put a lot of work into his Mania mod videos. He was really the goat. But, uh, what a champ. And remember, everybody, champ, Fridays at, at 3 p.m. EST. The train headed for Sunset City will be departing soon. <laughs> yeah, th that one was a little quiet. But yeah, if you do want to hear more of Pup and I doing stuff, we do do the podcast Sunset City on the Sunset City podcast channel at 3 p.m. EST on Fridays. If you guys want to see more of that, I I, I do make it's tweets stuff show. about it. It's a good time. We just had an episode yesterday. I do not have like a guest. Hundred fifty episodes of something left over. Uh, what did you say? I do not have a guest locked in for this week yet, but uh, oh, that's okay. We can figure we should, it out. We can always just do a twofer and talk about our favorite Sonic game. Yeah, we can do that. We can we can figure it out. All right. Okay. Well, thanks for joining me, buddy. It's good to have you. I'm glad you consider your audience to be your buddy now. I'm talking to you, I thought I dipshit. was your buddy. I thought I was your friend. All right, bye, <laughs> bye, everybody. <laughs> you gonna say bye? No, I'm straight. <laughs>